Hello, hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining me. Today, I have the privilege of bringing you the first ever gameplay coverage of Massive Darkness 2. And as someone who owned, still owns, the original as one of the very first dungeon crawlers I ever played that kind of introduced me to that genre as a whole, I have to say I was a little bit excited to get a chance to check this one out. Today we're going to be playing with the designers uh, on Tabletop Simulator, which is not always the best way to show off a game, but it is certainly a fantastic way to prototype and play with people from all around the world. And so we had the privilege of being able to do that. And I'm not going to keep you long here. I'm going to get to the gameplay as quickly as possible. That being said, I really have two points that I want to make. First off, you should watch this. As far as I'm concerned, they've outdone the original, with asymmetric player powers, with easier uh, chain progression, with a campaign mode that is separated from the actual uh, one-shot scenario modes, all the way up to way more accessible tiles, cards, spawning. They've listened and taken feedback and complaints that were, you know, based around some of the things that made this game hard to get to the table. And so Massive Darkness 2, as far as I can tell, is going to be one of the most accessible dungeon crawls that I've experienced. Not setting aside any of the progression and the way that you feel like you're a hero venturing through a dungeon, or I guess in this case, venturing through the crypts of hell, doing your very best to recover and bring light back into the world. And so with that being said, the very last thing that I want to point out, or the very last thing that I want to ask of you is, if you're discovering my channel for the very first time, hit that subscribe button down below. I have three very important reasons why you should do that. First off, we put brand new content out every single week. Gameplay reviews, Kickstarter previews, full documentary videos, how to plays, a whole plethora of stuff. This video alone took about 20 hours to produce. Uh, and so, if you enjoy what we're doing, if you want to see us continue making it, if you're watching this video at all, I am going to unapologetically ask you to hit that subscribe button. It does significantly more for this channel than you could ever guess. From publishers seeing the type of engagement we have, all the way to the YouTube algorithm, liking and sharing and encouraging other people to discover kind of this board game content that we're making. So take a second, scroll down just slightly, and like I promised, let's go ahead and get to the gameplay. Hello, welcome to a, uh, a gameplay of Massive Darkness 2. Honestly, I don't want to say much more than that. I want to sprint through the introduction, set up the storyline, uh, go ahead and give you a quick overview of the game because I, I just want to play. So if you're, if you're here checking this out, we're going to go as quickly as possible, which is nearly the antithesis of, of a Quackalope, Quackalope video. Exactly. Yeah. I'm joined today with three incredible people from Brazil who Jan will uh, introduce in just a moment, and also my co-host Jan Bigas, the Goose. Hello. Uh, Jan, if you would take it away and, and start setting up who we're joined with today. Oh, I'd love to. So today we're playing with Simon. Um, and from the team of Simon, we have Helena Dutras, who is the head of marketing at Simon. We have Alex Altenau and we have Marco Portugal, both designers for Massive Darkness 2. They're also responsible for lead development on Death May Die and developers on the original game as well. Um, we're very excited to have uh, to have this exclusive today, um, and I'm, I'm I'm just a goose, and the other guy that was talking is uh, a quackalo by yeah. the name of Jesse. I'm not I'm not even going to introduce myself. Now I do have to say, Helena is not technically the head of marketing, but we're being preemptive in this. She does work <laughs> for marketing, and we're saying two or three years down the line, that's totally going to be her title. So why not start now, Jesse? If you yeah, didn't know anything you say in video becomes true later. Just, I, just FYI. I think that's that accurate, which is why yeah. we're currently introducing the fact that a Quackalope will be an official playable character in Massive Darkness 2. Oh, is that course. correct, guys? It's going to be a monster, right? That's what we talked about before. All yeah, right. I'd love to do that. I just cannot promise that. Uh, so to, me, to me, that sounds like a promise. Alex, All right. that was my thing. Since, since we are currently just having fun and talking back and forth, can you actually tell the audience what they're here to find out? What is going on with Massive Darkness 2? What is new? What have you guys done with this uh, this new implementation? Uh, okay, so uh, we were I was the lead developer for Massive Darkness 1. And after the release, me and Marco, we were really attached to the game. So we were always like looking uh, on, on the forums, on BGG, on uh, Reddit and everything. People gave us feedback for Massive Darkness. We were always looking for 
we got all this feedback, all this information, and we made like uh, a few big changes that in our mind, it improved the game a lot. Okay, so as you can see, the biggest, biggest improvement and the new thing on Master Darkness 2 is the asymmetric classes. Uh, we'll be talking about the asymmetric classes in a minute. But... Oh, yes, we will. <laughs> yeah, we will. <laughs> we'll definitely will. <laughs> Me and Marco, we are like big fans of uh, asymmetric in games, and we came up came up with a uh, asymmetric mechanic that is just like a bonus for each class, but it makes the experience completely different without making much very complex. You know. So, for an audience that isn't maybe familiar with the original title, uh, set up what Massive Darkness is in terms of a gameplay. What are you trying to do with the gameplay experience here? All right. So, Massive Darkness is a dungeon crawler, a hack slash, in which you'll be playing as light bringers, trying to fight the Massive Darkness. And you'll be like leveling up your character, you'll be uh, gathering items, better items, uh, fighting monsters, and just making your way to the dungeon. Um, you have like 10 scenarios in the, in the game box, and each one of them with completely different uh, objectives and new things will be introduced little by little. So players are trying to kill monsters, uh, level them up, and, and actually winning the scenario. Yeah, one of, the, one of the big elements that I remember from the original core box is that you could sit down and have a full-on RPG, get your hero from level 1 all the way up to like a super-powered uh, destructive force in one self-contained sitting. And from the test runs that we've done here with this, and you'll see it in the gameplay, uh, I, think, I think you're on the right track when it comes to that. So <laughs> now with Massive Darkness 2, outside of the asymmetric characters... Uh, what do we have going on here? What are people looking at on this TTS mod? Okay, so right here we have the wizard, uh, one of the classes. We have the paladin, we have the rogue, and we have the berserker. Those are four uh, out of the six classes that you'll find on the core box. Plus, we have an introductory scenario here that we'll be playing today. And... I, uh, here are like a few miniatures you can see on the left, and you have uh, mob cards, you have treasure. Uh, a a as we play and as I explain you guys a bit about the game, we'll be going through everything. Yeah, so let's let's focus in on the board real quick. Uh, so I'm going to zoom okay. into this, this front board here. Um, when it comes to the layout here on the, actual, on the actual game board, what are some of the icons that people should be familiar with as we move across it? All right, so... Uh, in Massive Darkness 2, we made things a little bit different. So, as you can see, there are still light zone, shadow zones. You can still, the, the tiles are pretty much the same. You have chambers that work pretty much the same as well. However, we decided to make the spawn a little bit simpler. So, there are icons here in Massive Darkness 2, and the tiles there are not in Massive Darkness 1. So, uh, we, we did that to make the spawn easier. So you'll see during the gameplay, but now there are monster icons and treasure icons. Whenever you open a door, you just spawn monsters and you draw treasure for the for those these icons. And we we are introducing new things like uh, traps and pillars and actually healing healing fountains. There are things that are new on Massive Darkness too, and they're all printed in the in the tiles. So you don't have like to set up, you don't have to, it's like much more easier to understand and to, to play the gameplay is more, much more fluid this way. And then there are still some modular tiles like this anvil that we have uh, there that we are, placed yes. down there up at the top. Yeah, there are. And that's actually, uh, the forge is a, it's a good modification that we, we, it was one of the feedback that the community brought to us. Uh, in Mass Darkness 1, we had the transmute was a free action and every time you could like just trade three items of one rarity for a higher one but right now you have to go to the forge so creating the forge creating a zone that you can only do that on that zone improve the balance a lot yeah absolutely uh i believe for the initial setup here we do actually have to spawn one one mob yeah so let's go ahead and walk through how we'll spawn that because that'll be a starting mob on the board then let's go through uh the different asymmetric powers we have with each of the four characters we're playing and then jan will read some flavor text 
and we'll begin watching the game Ooh, in a right. very dramatic right. way. I mean, it, <laughs> subtly, subtly dramatic. So, so for this part, basically, and Alex, please, Alex and Marco, correct me if I'm wrong. The way that we spawn is always going to be based on the levels of all of our heroes. So if, if you've been looking at our player boards, yes. you'll notice that every character has a level from one to five. Um, in the in the base game and when you're playing one shot scenarios, you will always play from one to five. And the idea is as you level up, the creatures in the dungeon are going to level up with you, right? So right now, as you can tell, we are yes. all at level one. So whenever we spawn a creature for now, they're going to spawn as level one creatures. And the way that that works is that you're going to draw a random mob card that's going to determine the type of creature and the type of powers that that mob is going to have. When you spawn a mob, it's exactly what it means. It's a mob, it's multiple miniatures, not just one. So, for example, if we draw a, a mob right now, we're going to go ahead and draw a leader token, a leader miniature, and also four minion miniatures with that mob. And not just that, the mobs are also a little bit unique because every time that you draw a mob, you will also draw a specific piece of equipment that that mob is going to use in order to attack you with. Not and, only use, but potentially drop when you take them out that you can pick up and then utilize yourself. Exactly. So every time that you draw a mob, it's always very likely going to be different and unique. So you might have, um, so let's see, uh, Alex or Marco, what, who would like to draw that first mob? I can, I can draw the first. Okay, Marco, first. go ahead. All right, Marco, I right. swear, if, All right. if you ruin this for us on turn one. <laughs> <laughs> so look at that. So we have, we have what succubus. We got. And these okay, succubus are going to button. use great a great sword. sword. Great. A really, great Marco? Sword. Succubuses with great swords? That's how you're going to start this off? <laughs> but the really cool thing about yeah, this is that so those succubus get... could have had ranged weapons, or they could have had another type of dagger, or they could have another blunt area weapon. And a very important thing as well is that when you draw weapons, they will only be able to use the dice on those weapons. And we'll get to that a little bit later on our turns. But that mm -hmm. is how you start making unique uh, enemies or monsters within the game system without overcomplicating at all. Um, yeah, when we get to the yeah. first battle, we'll walk through how these cards resolve because we are going to be facing off with them. So that's when we'll walk through how we summon our dice and how each unique character interacts with mobs in a different way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, that's true. That's uh, one cool thing oh, to address sorry. is that this is a little bit different from Massive Darkness 1. So in Massive Darkness 1, starting from the level, uh, the dungeon all got to a higher level when uh, heroes walk into a new tile. So this is a little bit different now from Massive Darkness 2. Uh, the player who has the highest level, uh, it's like it's dictating the, the dungeon level. Mm -hmm. So yeah. that's a little bit different. And not just that, the minion spawn. We used to have like uh, numbers here that show, depending on the number of players, how many minions spawn. We decided to make it more clean and straightforward. And right now, you spawn minions equal to the number of players. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Uh, so when Elena runs forward with her berserker and, and crashes <laughs> through 17 hordes of, of, of minions and levels up to level five before we're all level one or two, you're saying yeah. the dungeon will become infinitely harder. Mm -hmm. Yes. So hey, that's exactly. let's not do that. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I don't know. I'm, I, I I'm mean, sort of down for an entertaining ride. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, it's up to you, Elena. If you get this to level five, I, you should probably resolve that for us too. We'll be just like watching you play. <laughs> we'll, let, we'll let her deal with it. Hey, if uh, yeah. if yesterday's test run was any indicator, <laughs> I think she's going to be carrying most of the weight. <laughs> All oh, right, guys, so this I'm is important. Spawning, mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm spawning another mob here because for this scenario, oh, besides okay. the setup there in, in the tiles, we have a mob in the portal which is right here. So you've decided to spawn gargoyles who are currently carrying uh, a devil's bow or a, or a mm -hmm. horde yeah. of bow. Great. Yeah. Yes. So there you have range of the deck. Yeah. I didn't I didn't shuffle the deck. I just set up set them up just to mess with you guys. <laughs> so... <laughs> Appreciate that. Yeah, man. You're welcome. That's what it's we okay. always look for, so thank you. They're not yeah. they're really far away for now. We'll we'll be strong before they get to us. 
I yeah, I think maybe, I think we'll, maybe possibly. <laughs> there is a I chance. Will. There is a chance. <laughs> All right, at least there at is least a chance. Will. Yeah, there's a chance Elena will be strong enough to deal with them, and we can follow her. Yeah, exactly. We'll just be behind and we'll like blow blow darts yeah. over. Like, hey, hi! <laughs> don't don't look at me. Hey guys, uh, before we move move on, we need to to set the treasure for the. Ooh, house, that's right. right. It's set up, set up with uh, commons and hair items, so we don't know exactly which kind of items you're gonna get from the bag, mm -hmm. and we put it on the enemies according to how many they, they have. So in this case, each one have one treasure, so we draw two tokens, one for each. Right, that's super important as well. <laughs> you're not just getting a weapon, but you're also getting a potential item or maybe even a second yeah. weapon that they were carrying in their pack or something like that. And yeah. piles of experience. Yes, which is very important. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> So let's go ahead and continue sprinting towards the actual gameplay of this. I, I think, Alex, one of the last things we need to do before we read the flavor text is we need to swing down here and take a look at all these asymmetric players. Uh, let's start here with the wizard. Go over how he's going to operate. All right. So uh, as I said before, each, each of the classes has like specific components that only that class has. OK, so let's start from the wizard. The wizard has an amulet. Okay, and that amulet, it tries to recreate the cooldown that you can see like in a lot of games mm -hmm. where you play sorcerers and wizards and magicians. So how it works is that you start with four minor spells, okay? And every time you use a spell, you rotate it by one, okay? Another way to rotate it is by spending mana. So you can spend mana to rotate it and try to get to one spell that you're actually looking for. So a really good way to play, this is really not a good uh, action to take, like to spend a lot of mana to rotate, but sometimes you'd like to do that, okay? Not just that, the skills that the wizard has, they go, and they go into one of the spell slots, okay, you choose. So for example, if you wanna make like a more healing wizard, you can just cover an attack spell. If you want to make like more an attack wizard, you can cover a healing spell. All right. So what you're trying to do here is to make combos. So you would want to make the amulet in a way that you can rotate it without having to spend mana to actually rotate it. So that's the optimal way to play the wizard. And the wizard has, like, since he has cooldown, he has, like, really strong skills. So I, I hope I can play him, like, well, and you guys will see this. <laughs> play him effectively. And we're starting with the wizard because you yourself are going to be taking charge of this mad... Uh, I, what, I, what I imagine is that's sort of an amulet that starts to glow and spin. And the more effective you're doing it, the more, the more like, it's, it's rotating in its yeah, little diocese faster. Diocese faster. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 That's true. I like it. Yeah, so at the beginning of the game, you'll probably be using mana to rotate it and try to get to your, your starting skills and stuff. But as the game goes by, you have like a engine going on here. It should be chugging along. All right, yeah. let's swing over here to the, uh, let's see, Sir, Sir Ronan? Yes, the Paladin. Right, so the Paladin uh, in Master Darkness 2, he has like more of a support role. So... Mm -hmm. He has like three auras, and he'll be attaching those auras to the other heroes. So he spent one mana to attach an arrow, and as long as a hero has an arrow, and the hero can only have one at a time, the hero gains all skills that are in the same column. So as the paladin levels up, he gains more skills, and he can arrange here in the columns how he wants to set up each aura. And the hero that has the aura, it gets like a boost. And not just that, he gets benefits, all type of benefits, benefits that the Paladin can spend mana to to increase or benefits that are permanent. It's up to the Paladin to decide how he want to do this. But not just that, the Paladin can also spend mana to bless his skill. And then the skill gets a better version of it. Mm -hmm. So the Paladin is the only one that has uh, back and front 
skill cards. Double sided cards. Yeah. And that's -sided. that's a really important thing through this game as well, which I don't know if we've directly mentioned. As you're leveling up, each hero has their own sort of tech tree that they're going down. Ooh, where you're true. actually able to draft cards and figure out what type of hero you want to play throughout the course of the adventure you're on and the course of the game. Um, yeah, it's one true. of the things that original Mass of Darkness did that, that was really interesting with your sheets. Uh, and this time you're implementing it through asymmetric asymmetric characters and a stack of cards, which I actually like. Yeah. I like how this is operating more than those pads of paper. So, mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that, there was like two big things for us to take the decision of make it mini cards. First one is, was because we are making asymmetric uh, classes and they use this, the, the skill card, actually, the components different from one to another. Yep. Not just that, and the most important for us, is that now we have more space to write down what the skill does, which yeah. make us, uh, allow us to make like more complex and cooler skills, you know, mm -hmm. than the, the ones that we had like writing on a little space of the shit that we had before. And then, uh, Marco, I believe you are playing the Paladin, right? Yeah. Awesome. Uh, yeah. Moving over here to the Rogue. Make you the guys Rogue is going to be better. the character that I think so far I'm the most excited about. It is a bag builder, and it is playing by our very own uh, Jan. Hong Kong. Very excited <laughs> about the Rogue. Yeah. There's going to be so, so many people that don't get our, our inside jokes. They Jan. will one day, Jesse. That's what matters. <laughs> You, you need to start the start inside joke at a point, right? Exactly. So they become inside joke. True. It's true. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so the rogue, he, uh, as you guys said, he has like a bag building ish mechanic. So at the start of each round, the rogue would draw three tokens from the bag. And in, for, for the rogue, in order to make like any action, he must flip back uh, flip one of the tokens okay but if the rogue managed to combo like to spend the right token in the right action then he gets a bonus so if you want to play the rogue efficiently you'll be trying to do the actions you got sometimes you not be able to do that but the, the, the more you can like combo your tokens with your actions the better for example uh, this token here gives plus one movement point all right. So if you take a move action and you use this token to make the move action, that means that he gets three movement points instead of two, mm -hmm. which is good. Crazy. So, yeah. yeah, not just that the rogue as the rogue gain new skills, he'll be adding new tokens to the bag that will be doing all sort of cool things. For example, giving poison or making the rogue always be on, on shadow and that kind of thing. And once the bag is empty, you just place all your tokens back, and that's why it's like a kind of a bag building game. game for yeah, you're world. always you're working through all of the skill sets you have, all the little trinkets and baubles you've added to your character, and then <laughs> yeah. uh, resetting and continue going. And, and another is... thing that's really important about the rogue that I think is fascinating is that I think they are probably one of the only characters that can have more actions than the rest because there are certain abilities within the rogues deck building uh, component that allows you to draw more pieces. And the more chit chits that you draw from the bag, the more tokens you draw, the more actions you will have available for that turn. So, so you're everybody moving faster, yeah. slightly mm -hmm. more powerful. You're sort of a glass cannon in a lot of way. Phaedra yep. seems like an absolute, uh, an absolute knight. I love her. All right, <laughs> moving back over. And let's take a look at... Uh, uh, Geta here, the Berserker. You're right. So the Berserker, every time Greta gets a, takes a wound, it doesn't matter where the wounds come from, she will take the health token and place on her dashboard. So it will work like a rage. So she has like three stances that she can uh, be on. So the first one is the Blood Rage in which she will become more aggressive and will have like more attacking abilities. She can become reckless, in which she will get more movements and charge and this kind of stuff. And she can get in the provoke stance, in which she will get more shields and become more of a tank to the party. So she can use her tokens here, her health tokens, 
to trigger their stance. And not just that, she can use the health tokens to change stance. So if you want to play the Berserker efficiently, you need to keep changing stances and in the, like the best possible time. So you can attack more, then you can defend more, and you can move more. And every time you get a skill, uh, the skills show different from the Paladin. The skill shows where the cards go. So there are Blood Rage cards, there are Reckless cards, there are Provoke cards. It's up to you to decide which role you want to play with the Berserker. I like it. So uh, with that being said, let's go ahead and make sure all of our character boards are set up. And and Jan, if you would do the honors to uh, to start off this game. I'd love to. Darkness returns. <laughs> In the decade following the massive darkness invasion, the Lightbringers become more than an adventuring group. With the amassed treasure they acquired from defeating the massive darkness, they founded the Lightbringer Company, a guild of heroes and adventurers, artists and researchers, warriors and diplomats. Their mission was to bring the world together with strength of arms as a last resort. For a time, they were successful. Peace reigned, and for two shining years, no nation battled another for territory or resources. No warlords arose from the band of kingdoms, and even the monsters in the hinterland seemed quelled. Then, the dreams began. Wizards, warlocks, witches, and sorcerers, anyone and everyone with a talent for magic, dreamed of the world tipping over into a gaping, hellish maw. Fire boiled the seas, ash choked the air, and every race from human to elf, dwarf to gnome, centaur to giant, burned. This was no freakish event. This was no ripple in the ether. This was a premonition, a warning. Demons and angels pour through new rifts, battling anyone and anything that crosses their path. The massive darkness has returned. And so it has. Alex, oh, wow. what is this uh, okay. <laughs> what is this test scenario we are playing? Now this is not an official in-game scenario. This is one that's designed for us to get a sense of the game. What is our objective here? What are we trying to do? All right, so in this scenario, we are trying to summon Incubus and actually defeat him. So easy. Yeah, <laughs> pretty easy, right? <laughs> They're a pushover, so yeah, yeah. I'm not I'm not concerned. <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. That's fine. Like, I, I, I can nerf him along the game so we can just win the scenario. <laughs> Let me know. <laughs> You're like the god of his universe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This how is do the we go? I've created. How do we go about summoning uh, summoning summoning Incubus here? All right. So, how the uh, how the scenario works? That can you see those objective tokens here? Yep. As you interact in that zone, you'll be flipping them, and once you flip, we flip both, then the portal explodes and Incubus is summoned. Where is the portal? So all we have to do is kill him as soon as he appears. I like it. Yeah, I like it. And, Sold. <laughs> and more than that, like, can you see this door here? This is a special door. So we cannot move through the door unless we unlock both of that objective tokens. Uh, however, the minions that spawn the portal, the mobs, they can normally go through the door. So we cannot reach them, but they can reach us. Yeah. Not a. Not a problem, I don't think. Now, Not for everyone that is, is curious as to why I am so confident, but also don't seem to have a character, well, that's because uh, I'm the videographer for this. So I am floating around, uh, adding a little bit of commentary, but also trying to make sure that the camera you're watching in this TTS game is always focused on what is the most entertaining and the most important. So you can have the most enjoyable experience possible uh, while we play on Tabletop Simulator, which is actually a remarkable platform because we are not only playing online, but we're also playing uh, kind of across the Americas. You all are down in, uh, yeah, you all are all down in Brazil, right? Yeah. Yep. Awesome. I'm yeah. I'm stoked that this is this is able to be possible. That being said, 
who's who's going to take the lead? Who's yeah, going to do the cool. uh, the first charge? I'm just going to sit back and watch now. That's a good. That's a All good right. point. Uh, another. I don't think we talked about it, but you can choose player order every round, however you want. So, yeah. so it's determined by the players as well. Yeah. So we can discuss and decide who goes first, who who is the last one, and, and that will make like a, actually a big change. Because, for example, if the paladin goes first, he can blast us with the aura, yeah, and then we get mm. like a better. We have like a better round for everyone. Uh, sometimes we want the road that's to go exactly first. What I was going to say. Okay. I want to go first Ooh. because I can use my taking aura. charge. Wow. I like yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and and I like the position. Like, okay, I I want to go first. <laughs> okay, <laughs> who am I to say no? <laughs> I am the captain now. Oh no, it, it's it's that's better for it, right? And yeah. I'm the leader also. So. Yeah, just was just one thing. Uh, Goose, have you have you have you choose your starting skill? Yes, I have. I am starting with some poison in my in my Ooh. bag. Okay, I like poison. Elena, oh, I have choose your starting skill. <laughs> So my starting skill is Vigor, that improves the attack of the character. All right. I, I yeah, let's go full like attack, Vigor. right? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, like, uh, let's forget the fence. We don't need the fence in this game. We just need attack. And then uh, over there, over there with the mage, you chose fire course. So you're actually upping yep. your uh, your attack <laughs> ability, and you're gonna set yeah. things on fire. Yeah, that, that's what I like to do. I picked Charge, which allows me to spend one combat action with the hero and move one or two zones to a zone containing at least one enemy and perform a free melee action. So those... Who are those guys? Those succubus should know what's succubus. coming for them. <laughs> Just gonna barrel into the very center of them, yes. knocking wings and swords asunder. Exactly that. <laughs> All right. And we're starting here with the Paladin, right? Right. Okay, so since Helena is going to to charge the succubus, I think <laughs> I should place the aura in her, right? Okay. So that's a good idea. Our attack. <laughs> All right. So Greta now has an aura. Yeah, I had to I have to spend one mana for that, right? Okay. What I, what she I can, can do spend... with, that, with that aura? She can reroll an attack, and I'm going okay. to bless it. So she also has an automatic hit on attack. Ooh. Okay. Yes. Greta, showtime. Showtime. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, I, I think I was add the other aura to someone. Uh, what does the other aura do? Gives one more movement point in every move One action. more movement point. Okay. I think okay. the rogue. Oh. To the rogue? Yay, I accept. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> so you can run around and pick up more treasure. Or open doors <laughs> for everybody and then run away. That's a bad plan. <laughs> <laughs> but it's my plan, Jesse. Okay. okay. So now I can start doing my actions, right? Mm -hmm, because all of these are free actions for you. Yeah, this is free. Yeah, I can just attach them anytime I want. Yeah, so, he needs to spend mana. But as an action, it's free. And 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 the Paladin can also do that outside of his turn, right? Yes, yes. Yep. Anytime. Mm -hmm. Very cool. All right. Okay, so where are we planning to, to go? Uh, maybe because we have two options here, here right? We have this, this mm -hmm. room and this room. Where Both of which are going to spawn bad guys. This one yeah, has an no extra... Chest, what? right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, I see. That's Maybe we should go there to get more loot. I see how you um, think. Helena. Another <laughs> thing I would mention is that this one has two shadow spots. So if we fight a mob in there, we will mm. be in in, in, in in an advantage advantageous position. You know. Yeah, that, that's but I, true. As a rogue, I also will always support the idea of getting more treasure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think it's better. To get more treasure at the beginning of the game, yeah. So let, let's go. So I can, okay. I, in my move action, I can do two move movement points, right? So first one, I will move to this hex, uh, to this square, sorry, and then I will open the door. Okay. All uh, right. Now we have to populate the chamber, right? Yes. Do you want to go, Adam? Do you want to 
Okay, so what happens first is that we open an event card and see what's going on inside that chamber. So let's flip it and let's read it. Can you guys hear like every dog in my street? Right? Yes. 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 We we can hear all the dogs now. Granted, I have a herd of uh, of Pyrenees living at the house, and Jan has an adorable little puppy called Kitsu. So the odds of dogs being part of this stream significantly high. <laughs> so horde room. Uh, sometimes the room has an event. Sometimes it doesn't. The thing is that for each monster icon, we're going to spawn a mob. For each treasure icon, we're gonna have a treasure token, okay? And the event may change a bit the room or not. Uh, this one, for example, we changed a bit. So event, spawn mobs in this chamber with monster items for one higher tire, if possible, because sometimes they're already the maximum. I'm just gonna say for the record, I warned all of you to not go so in that room. No, so. here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> there was some good treasure in that room. It just happens the mob picked it up first. Yeah. Uh, uh, more treasure and better treasure. I yeah. Okay, exactly, that, Elena. That's true. Uh infernal so imps. They, oh I mean, gosh. Imps are more oh, annoying right. than Oh uh, no, they have a skull axe. That is like the perfect weapon for an infernal imp to have. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so Okay. Okay. Do you want so, to open the door? <laughs> it was the paladin, Marco. All right. So I, uh, I opened the door. Thank you, sir. <laughs> sir Ronan. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. No. So, I don't know exactly. So, so luckily, everyone luckily knows. We have, luckily, we have Greta to deal with that. So Yes. And also your glass cannon. Don't, don't forget about me. Um, so, so these Infernal Imps guys, they're going to have a special ability in defense. If they roll a claw, um, you can kill one Imp, then deal two wounds to all heroes in the Imp's zone. Right. So they sacrifice themselves in order to cause more chaos. Yep. Oh, That's wow. That's what they're yeah. aiming for. That's their, their objective. Oh my God. That is terrifying. <laughs> So, uh, I'm not sure. Okay. Now. I don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't want to say hi to the end. Yeah. You like open you... the door, look in, and say nope. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Okay. I I think someone should go alone to fight the imps, right? Because they, <laughs> they do damage to everyone. No, I'm talking seriously, guys. <laughs> And, he's and he's the holding the door open, going, "You got this. Just get in there." Oh, yeah. Oh, come yeah. On. Come on, let's go along. <laughs> you can go everyone along. Everyone else can go to the succubus, right? What What do you think about this? <laughs> in my mind, it sounds like the paladin's like, "Guys, this door was really, really heavy. I need to take a quick break. So if you guys want to go yeah. ahead in there, you know, I'm gonna be over here just resting a little yeah. bit." <laughs> <laughs> um so yeah sure i can go ahead and try to take out the imps maybe uh, the only problem is that because we have a spike pit in front of us oh, um everybody yeah. like all the squishy characters are going to get hit by one um well actually uh, they could get hit by see. more depending on the dice roll that we do uh yeah. i can try to clear the way first like get those inferno imps and uh then and someone open the door through yeah. there I probably yeah, won't I can, be able I can, to all, but... I can actually set them on fire if you guys want to. It's just like I'm 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 much of a glass cannon, so someone should yeah, tank so, things for me. So you're saying that they're going to do a lot of things. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they're, they're going to come come for us, right? <laughs> yeah, but they can attack in the next round, like right? Exactly. They, they they move like two zones and get here, but they don't attack. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then I, think I I can go to the Infernal Imps. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna die. But let's see what no, happens. Maybe I, I, I promise. I promise I'll help you. I will. I will also help if you are in in dire need of assistance. Okay, let's see. So this was your second so action for the. my second right? action. I, mm -hmm. Yeah. So I can. I, I actually have uh, an attack action. Yeah, like, my last action. Okay. You place you place yourself in the middle of the imp just to make it more cinematic, <laughs> right? More dramatic. <laughs> yeah, <love> right. 
Okay. <laughs> so okay, I'm, 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 I'm ready. I have the Rex sword. I can have the yellow die to attack. I'm also in the shadow zone, so in shadow mode I roll the shadow die. So anytime you're fighting in the darkness, you have an advantage because you've been trained. You know yes. how to operate in in night. And so, or not in night, you know how to operate in the dark. And so you get this bonus die, which is always positive. Then you're also carrying the rusty sword here, which is going to come with one yellow attack die as well. And then yeah, you're facing off. Part. Yeah, both uh, both you and your enemy are going to roll at the same time. And that's bad news for yes. you because you're facing off against five of these little minions. Oh. And they have a, uh, a defense action, which means if they roll a claw... They're going to kill an imp, then deal two wounds to you. And, yeah. and to give an idea about this, so these dice, the black dice are always going to be your minion dice, but these scale with the amount of players as well. So remember when we said at the beginning that depending on how many players there are, that's how big the mobs are? Every single minion in the mob will represent one of those dice, right? So right now, since we're four players, we're going to full four black dice. Usually, yeah. the leader also adds a dice, but when, as we said, if you look at the card, if there isn't a die shown in the lower portion of the card, they do not roll anything else. That's true. Exactly. So that I, I want to talk like a little bit about the monster die, if you guys don't mind. That was mm. like one, uh, one of the changes you made. So now each minion, there was like a, a feedback from the community as well. So now each minion represents one die, okay? And the black die are the, the ones that trigger retaliation and their ability. So they are responsible for the mob's ability. And the more minions you kill, the, the weaker they become. Okay, so that's 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 a change we made from Mass Darkness One to Mass Darkness Two. Yeah, it just makes sense, right? Like thematically and everything, it just it's it it all kind of clicks together. Yeah. Okay, so let me attack. Let's Good see. luck, Marco, the Paladin. Oh my Ooh. gosh! Ooh. That, that uh. <laughs> <That's horrible. laughs> oh yeah, you should probably reroll. <laughs> oh, but you have to right? use so, it, right? You you do get your okay, ultimate so power. You're in shadow I, mode, so that means every hero with an aura fully heals. But yeah, I think I, I will roll the uh, we roll the shadow that right. Oh no! Yeah, because, because gonna... like oh, I don't know now. Yeah. So so to give you an idea, so every weapon also might have special abilities, and the rusty sword that the, our our paladin has has a reroll action during the attack phase as well. Um, which obviously gives you the opportunity to roll any dice. And in addition to that, the Paladin also has a passive skill that allows him to block one retaliation attack. So one of those uh, claw or scratch symbols that you're seeing there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so right now I'm taking mm. five damage, right? Because two imps yeah. are going to die and explode. No, so <laughs> the imps, they, 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 the limit is one per, once per roll. Ooh, okay. So only one rim oh, will cool. explode. Yeah, okay. So in that case, I think I'm going to reroll the shadow die. Okay. The yeah. shadow die. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, All right. Good. That was good. Okay. So I can ignore one of the wounds. So I take only mm -hmm. one wound from the retaliation. Uh, cool. One of them explodes. One of will explode. You do not get so XP for the one. exploded aims. Mm. Because you did nothing, right? That makes sense. <laughs> you run in, he turns. Well, I, I just imagine like him screaming <laughs> and his face getting larger and redder until he just finally <laughs> pops. Yeah. I mean, I, I had the courage to go there, right? That that should that's not true. Be speed, but... Oh, that's true. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Still not expecting. Yeah. Maybe he killed that out of sheer terror, just seeing this hulking <laughs> man just coming at him. <laughs> <laughs> so and I, I do two damage to one of them, killing it. That one I got XP for. Yep. Right. And one more damage token there. I think that's it, right? I think that was pretty good. That yeah, yeah good. that'll be that it. Be... And I'm for going, the sake I'm of going to this, you, don't worry. It was better than I expected. <laughs> for <laughs> the sake <laughs> of keeping TTS clean, uh, normally you'd place the damage and stuff next to the minions who are taking it, the horde that you're facing. We're going to keep damage over here on the card just so that we can kind of keep everything organized a little bit. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. Okay, so that, that was your turn, right? So, yep. I passed my turn. Uh, okay. Who player. wants to go next? So I can reach them in a single action. 
um, in a single turn. I guess that will. Oh, that's a that's an important question. I I'm supposed to draw my tokens at the beginning of the round, right? Not yeah. on my turn. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Okay. Yeah. So you should so know you what you're doing. Draw. Yeah, so you can plan a beat ahead. Yeah, so, okay, guys, definitely let Whoa. me go in first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here goes the road. Thank you very much, uh, sir. Sir, what is what is the name in the character? Ronin. Sir Ronin. Sir Ronin. Uh, Ronin. For giving me this incredible swiftness that I'm going to use to <laughs> probably die. Phaedra is, so, like, yeah, sneaking. <laughs> she's slipping through the door. Yeah, I'm just so. charging in. Okay, so okay. this is what that happened. Um, since every every time you do a move action, you have two movement points, but because of my blue aura, I now have an additional movement point for free, which allows me to get here in just one single action. But And you have to flip one of your tokens. Yep. So technically, I had four. So what I'm going to do with that final action, hmm, I'm not sure. Actually, that might not be a bad plan. What do you guys think if I should open this door? And just leave it open for so that you guys can just go through yeah, without yeah. having to spend a movement I think it's point. it's good. Yeah, yeah. Okay, That's so I'll go idea. ahead and do that. Um, okay. So be very effective. Now comes the fun, the fun part. I'm going to go ahead and attack. So because these different tokens that I have here, these represent a yellow die that I'm going to be able to add to an attack action. And of course, since I'm attacking, I will go ahead and flip that. So I look at my board. I see that I have a dagger. And that dagger is going to give me one other yellow die. So that's two yellow die for me. Oh, I just remember something that I think, I certainly hope, we won't have to worry about at all. But just in case the audience is curi curious, we have two little uh, revive tokens over here. Mm -hmm. Ooh, when someone true. gets that's completely true. knocked out, what are those actually called? Remind me. Life bringer. Life bringer. Life bringer tokens. So when someone yeah. gets knocked out, we will flip one of those. They will come back ready to go, ready to ready to engage the battle. If that happens too many times, depending on the scenario, in this case twice, uh, well, that's that's so, lost condition. So so Jesse, I just have a quick question. Why mm -hmm. do you want to mention that when it's my turn? Sorry, I just <laughs> happened to remember. I just it just oh, came it across happened. my mind. It, it, it I was, was thinking. I was yeah, it was completely random. It's of a coincidence, course. clearly. Uh huh. Oh, yeah. Okay, I just wanted to make sure because I did feel a little bit insulted, but you cleared it up, so I'm fine. Well, now, so thank you. At least, <laughs> at least, at least you're not running into the room to go pray. So. Oh wow! Really low blow, Jesse. Low blow. Uh, <laughs> that's that's a reference to another game that people can find on our channel. If they know what it is, leave a comment oh. down below. So okay. okay. So now, because we only have two minions left, thanks to our incredible paladin that cleared the way for me, I have much better chances of surviving this little encounter now. Okay. To so, be fair, one of the minions just sort of exploded. They did. They did. <laughs> so so they let's did. see what happens here. So I'm going to roll that. Ooh, not bad at oh, all. I think yeah, I did. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, wait. So, okay, question. <laughs> Is the leader also considered a normal imp? Uh, it depends. What, what what are you trying to do? Like there's a text or something? Yeah, because I just killed all of them. Wow. wow. You killed all of them? Yeah, so so, so let's do this. I'm going to... So please clarify. You're able to resolve your dice in any order you want, correct? Yes. Mm, yeah. Okay. So... For those that might have been paying attention here on my board, um, my special ability is that I can use magic to re-roll a dice, okay? Okay. And my special, my dagger special ability is that if this minion had a defense die, I could lower that value by one. However, our imps explode whenever a claw symbol is rolled, right? So oh, I'm going to go ahead and mm -hmm. explode one of those minions. I will take two. You wounds. take two wounds. Yeah. Yep. Remember to take two. Wounds. I also yep. take two wounds, right? Yeah. Every everyone in that <laughs> room takes two <laughs> wounds. Jim. Yeah. Okay. Wait. 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 Okay, that's too. different. So, so paladin, so paladin. Do you want me to try and re-roll that then? Because I completely forgot that that is a area of effect attack. Yeah, guys, don't worry. Yeah, I'll I think, I think I'll go there and I'll hear you. Right? Don't worry. You'll don't worry. I'll go there and I hear you. Okay. Okay. So plan continues. Then I'm going to use two, one sword to take out this little minion that we had already injured earlier on in the turn. Again, Ooh. thanks to our awesome paladin. Now that, that minion goes by. 
I gain one XP. And here comes the kicker. I still have two more swords left, which I'm going to use to take down our big bad, which gives everybody in the party two XP and gives me one additional XP for taking down the actual minion. Okay. So it's like, I like you I like slip into XP. the room, rush to the back, pick the lock of the door, kick it open. One spots you moments before you swing it open because there's a loud creak. It explodes. And before the other two can realize, <laughs> you've already slashed one's throat and stabbed the other through the eye. Very, like very, it. very anime style too. Absolutely. Like it's just, it's yeah. just like a flash and then just they're they're in silhouettes and they just split in the middle and dis and dissipate so i'm very happy i'm very happy about this and apparently i just got a super strong weapon for my wow. okay. well. yeah you did uh so i now have a skull axe and this skull axe not just gives me two dice but i can ignore one wound and the defender takes the wound damage instead of you oh my god that's that's really good that's cool but one, okay. one important thing I can here see is that this is I can see the uh, the barbarian sort of drooling already. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. just like waving waving the banner like ha 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 like that. <laughs> uh -huh. So Alex you yeah. were going to say something about uh, 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 weapon slots, right? Yeah, so the the school axe you just got it it's a two-handed weapon. So you need to choose like if you want to keep the axe and empty this this slot here or if you want to just keep the one-handed weapon, which is weaker. So I believe you have your choice done, you know? Oh, yeah, uh, for sure. Bye-bye, yeah. Dagger. That's going, in my, that's going in my backpack um, permanently. Never seeing the light of day again. So nope. not just that. I didn't just get a skull axe, but I also got some treasure that the uh, imps were guarding. Uh, and they were very excited about But unfortunately, you know, uh, I just had to take it from them. Uh, so that means that I'm able to cash in that chip. That particular token there represents a common treasure. So now I'm able to also have what is oh, this? Oh, nice! It is Ooh. a reroll oh, defense. Leather it's be a leather helm. helm. So you'll so also you have one reroll in defense. Yes, and you'll also notice that every character has different slots for different types of armor. Uh, so right now I have a leather armor, and now I have a leather helm. I'm getting pretty excited about this. So that's, <laughs> that's pretty much it. I still have one action though. And I, as a rogue, of course, uh -huh. I see a little bit of treasure like in the corner of the room. The <laughs> yeah. Paladin is just basically like looking at his shield. He's, he's not noticing. He's basically cleaning off the blood of the imps. And I just- He's tip almost dying. So <laughs> for the record, I'm Jen. Actually, uh, the corner like dying, right? <laughs> yeah, the paladin's, the paladin's down to one health left. He's not cleaning off the blood of his shield. The, the, the paladin is screaming, please, rogue, help me. However, the rogue saw cha a chest with treasure. So I'm like, yeah, 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 I'll be story. right there. I'll be right there. I have like this really important thing to do, but I'll be yeah. right back, I promise. I think I see bandages over here in the corner. Yeah, oh, I'm wait. Just <laughs> So I go to the bandages and I draw that as well. So this token goes back into the bag. Uh, and now I will draw another card. Let's see what we get. Oh, actually, wait a minute. No, no, no. You know what? You know what, guys? I think I think I should be a good a good friend and teach our audience about trading. All right. Okay. okay. I think that is what we should do. So if you're ever in a zone uh, with other characters, you're able to initiate what's called a trade action. So the trade action is going to allow all the heroes in that zone to trade items. And that doesn't necessarily mean that you have to trade equal items. You can just basically say, hey, I'm going to give you everything I have. Um, and I just need your your undying affection for the rest of this game and you know your moral <laughs> support. And that's enough. So with that said, I'm going to go ahead and give our paladin a health potion so, so that you, they can heal next turn. You reach for the treasure and then you reconsider, go into okay. your belt, pull out the health potion, toss it over to him. Nice of you. Some yeah. character <laughs> development right here. <laughs> <laughs> Our audience is in tears. <laughs> now, I believe. But what about that? You that could also, you could also oh, yeah. the dagger because he could activate both of them on his turn. Ooh, nice. So, so okay. basically, uh, I'm, uh, what's that term in English? Uh, reluctantly going up to the pal and I'm like, 
hey, um, um uh, it's not that it's not that I care or anything, but like, you know, <laughs> I, I guess I'm sorry for making an I mean, implode on you. Yeah. You know, whatever. And I just leave, yeah. and then I'm just like walking yeah. towards my treasure once more. I just have some leftovers <laughs> here, so. <laughs> I'm <gonna> take it. <laughs> yeah, like I guess you can have it. Whatever. It's not like I wanted yeah, it. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that and that is my turn, everyone. All right, that was a good turn. <laughs> All right, <laughs> who's going next? Who's storming the gates? Okay, so I think so... the wizards should rush in. <laughs> rush in? <laughs> what? I think the wizards should. Heal me, right? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll do that. I'll do that. Like, thank I'll you for your you. health potion, but... <laughs> oh, <laughs> let me oh, check. I can do one, two. The room, I'm uh, just, like, mashing my axe against my hand, just watching you and being like, don't <laughs> step close to my treasure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, so I can heal you. I can heal... Oh, I can heal only one of you. I, I'm so good. I I'm okay. You're good. Okay. Yeah, I'm fine. So what I'm going to do freedom. is I'm going to move to. Oh, Jan, did you make sure to gain your experience for the destruction yeah. that you oh, just did? Oh, that's yes. true. Okay. That's did true. everybody else okay. gain their experience? Actually, oh, I, yeah. everyone should have gained I two. Never, I never forget to get experience. <laughs> it's a good thing. Including when I'm doing, I'm I'm getting experience and doing nothing. So that's the <laughs> best experience I can get. <laughs> just like you know, right? XP share. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, so in my turn, I'll move. To, I'll take a move action. So I move inside the room. Now I have range for healing. You, Sir Ronan, and yeah. okay. So I spent two mana to do that. There we go. So since I healed you, my amulet will rotate naturally. So it goes here. Uh, I still have two actions left, so what I'm going to do with one of my actions is to take another movement point, however, to interact with that chest here, okay? Mm -hmm. So that's another icon that's printed on the tile, yeah, that, that's new for Master Darkness 2. And what happens here when I find a chest is that I can draw two tokens from the bag and choose one to keep. Nice. So there's a common treasure and a rare treasure and I, I, I found. So, of course, I'll keep in the rare treasure because... So the rogue is best. in the corner like, rummaging through stuff and then he <laughs> hears like a shimmer from the back, from the, back <laughs> of the room and he slowly turns and see you, sees that you get... What did you draw? <laughs> Let's see. Uh, let me get the rare card here. All right. Dun, 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 dun. I got a great demon sword. That Ooh, looks so bitch. cool. I oh. should probably give to one of you. What about the Berserker? Yeah, yeah but I'm far away. Berserker. Well, you're going to be running through that room in just a moment, probably. Yeah. Yeah, and my jaw drops immediately as you just don this um, super shiny demon sword. And I'm just looking through bandages and other knickknacks <laughs> in the corner of the room. I, I guess I made a bad choice. <laughs> I, I have one more movement point, and since I'm really, really cool, and I'm playing as the support role for now, <laughs> I'll move here as my second movement point, and then I'll get to your Greta, to your zone, so you can start by doing a trade action and get the sword for me, from me. Ooh, cool. Oh, That's okay. very nice of you. That's, That's very nice. Good sword for you because you can take one wound and deal two wounds, so it's like winning, winning for you. Oh, that's yeah. perfect. Well, it's perfect too because the berserker she wants to take those wounds, but she ne she doesn't want to take too many. But a few of yeah. them are important. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So I'll All start. Right. And my that turn. was that was my turn. I'll just flip the token here, and that's it. Okay, so it's showtime. <laughs> Absolutely. Showtime. We believe in you. <laughs> so I'll start by trading and getting the sword, apparently. All right, there you go. If that's <laughs> fine with you, I'm not bullying you into giving me stuff. You give oh, me stuff. So. <laughs> uh, and this is to hand, right? So this leaves yeah. by... Oh, yeah. 
And now I will move across this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you, you enter the trap uh, zone. So what you need to do is to roll a yellow die and see if you have to take any damage, which is okay. actually not bad for you. I actually kind of want that. Mm. Yeah. Did, am I rolling this or am I flipping hit, this? Hit R. Yeah, press R. Oh. There you go. Yep. Oh, okay. not bad at all. Uh, so you took one damage only. That's good. Okay. And by default, you basically I... you took your shoes off before going across the spikes just just to <laughs> yeah. enjoy it a little bit more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you feel the pain. <laughs> and uh, my stance starts in blood rage by default, right? No, you can choose. No, you right. can choose. Yes. Choose. Then I want to start here. So, yeah, sure. Since you got like a reckless skill, yes. it's a good idea to start on reckless. And then I spend this to activate this, and I move one zone and do a melee attack for free. All right. Perfect. I like it. Oh, <laughs> whoa, really? Oh, that's yes. cool. I was yeah. not launching that. Launching off the spikes, new sword in hand, heads ready to be chopped <laughs> off. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> That is really cool. fine, like looking at the spike trap and go like, yeah, the Berserker will never go through the spikes and suddenly <laughs> out of nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> you were never safe. Grant appears <laughs> from nowhere, from the shadow. So I get um, an orange die. Where are they? They're here. Oof, orange. And... You're, you're not in shadow mode, so you don't I'm not in shadow. Mm-hmm. So you and get an orange die. You they they have one blue for the fence. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. You All right. also have because of your aura. I'm gonna put this in front of you just so that you have a oh, reference. Oh, that's it. right. Yeah. You have reroll and you yeah. have plus one sword guaranteed. That's on me, right? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's on the palette. But that's the thing about playing the support guy. Like at the end of the day, the MVP will be the Berserker and the Rogue, and there will be just <laughs> no, no one will remember Officer Ronan. Where the spotlight belongs. <laughs> <laughs> and roll. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That's pretty bad. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> now, um, let's see. Well, remember that right, you have a reroll, right? You have a reroll, yeah. Ooh. I should reroll this one. Yes. Yeah, so that's the worst. How is you all to roll this one? Ah, why is this happening? Will you drop exactly you like that? Click outside. Click outside first, select. And now you. Yeah, yeah, there we go. And roll your gun. Oof, mm, okay. okay. A, little oh. bit better. a little bit better. Well, you know what? I'm taking what? Three damage? That's it, right? Yeah, you're taking three damage. So just you wait for my next melee action. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so, question. So, what a. Oh, uh, is it Geta? Geta can change stances any time on her turn, right? Yeah, she yes. can. So if you want it, Geta, you could go into... You can take one damage, then move into your Blood Rage, yeah. and, then, and then do another reroll if you wanted to. Oh, yes. but never during combat. So oh, she's never, okay. actually during uh, resolving combat, uh, the dice during combat, so she cannot change right now. Got but it, got it. She could do that like, before combat or uh, after yeah. combat. Mm. You see? So, yeah. And she didn't have any, any tokens before, right? Yeah. She, she used the token to charge, so... Yeah, and she actually resolving charge, so... But I think I, I have another attack. Uh, I have two attacks, I think. No, because I traded with Matrim, that's right. You traded, so you move, and then you charge. So yeah. I, I believe you did your three actions. Nope, because my, my charge is free. Your charge is free. Oh, uh, and one combat action with yeah, you. yeah. It's still, oh, it's still take you an action. The difference is that you can move an attack with only one action. Oh, so that's, that's the right. benefit. But spoiler alert: if you get the second level of this skill, then it's for free. Ooh. Mm. Okay, then let's okay, hope I don't so die. You took you took your three wounds. Yeah, they're okay. here. So. You have two swords here, plus one, one. and so you do get to take one out. Thing. Yeah, I killed one of them. Bye. Yeah. Uh, Don't forget to get your experience. Oh, that's right. 
And also, technically, I don't know if we want to do this. Oh, wait, you have a heal. Okay, so recommendation. You can, you can take one wound for your ability, then one wound for your sword, and you can take another person out, and then you can heal three health immediately. Yeah. That, I'm sorry, what? Great. I don't follow. My ability? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, but how? Oh, the potion. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, that that's a good idea, because they will strike you back. Yep. So the less the better. Oh, that's right. I can tell I take I can take two wounds and take one out. Yes, that's that's a good idea. So you're taking <laughs> two wounds and then dealing three back to them. So it's yeah. just like a supercharge. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, that's that's the getta I know. That's yep. the yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that means there's there's three damage more, right? So another succubus. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Good job, yeah. Geta. <laughs> Thanks. Uh, can I use the health mm -hmm. potion now? No, no, right? Uh, yes, you, you can. can. Oh, then I think it's I your should turn. because they oh, yeah. won't... <laughs> Okay, you go here. Oh, I don't know here. And another thing you can do, Geta, that is yeah. actually a good idea, is to change stance here. Because you're gonna be attacked. Yeah, that's a good idea too. So since you have so like a lot after the combat phase is ended, go ahead and resolve down to provoke. Yeah. So exactly. So, so Marco... I spent rage ah. and moved that to here. Okay. Marco and Alex, I have a quick question. When when Geta heals, does she heal from her rage pool or does she just heal from anywhere else? She just heals. Just heal from yeah, anyone from, else. From the, the, the stays the same. Oh, interesting. Got it. Cool. Yeah. So a okay. good thing for Gita is try to get something that heals her, or having someone in the party that can heal her, so she can get it like a lot of rage and mm. do not get close to death. Which makes sense thematically as well. Yeah. Got it. Ooh. Yeah, I'm okay. Healed, that, I'm still that was <laughs> All right, so that was that, that was your turn, Gita, right? Yeah. Okay. So I believe the four of us have ended the turn, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. That you have. Okay, so we are moving to the monster phase. During the monster phase, the enemies will attack us back. All right? So the succubus here, they are in the same zone as Gita, so they prioritize her. All right, oh. and we are attacking with one yellow and one orange. Oh no, yes. I forgot they attacked two times because they started the same. Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Everything will be fine, don't worry. Get up! No! <laughs> it's fine. And they have also two black dead. Oh man. So who rolls this thematically? Should it be like our our moderator or should it be Geta? I believe Geta. Okay. And then Geta also has her leather armor, just so she gets one defense die, right? Oh, that's yes. right. And it's goes one, right? Yep. One. Okay. Oof. We believe in you, Geta. Yes. Yeah, Geta. Don't, don't forget you have you can get it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ooh, that's four damage. Wow. Wait, but I can block two. Yep. Ooh, oh yeah. wow. That's true. Because of the leather armor and I spend my rage. Okay. Yes. Oh, so okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So designers can you activate multiple provokes in a single turn or in a single uh, phase. No, she for attack she can only spend once. Oh, okay. So does does this count as a separate attack action, allowing her to use provoke again? Yeah, she oh. she get like another attack, and she can use provoke again. Got it. Oh, okay, great. Okay, let's see how it goes. Okay. Oh no! Oh my oh. God. <laughs> wow! Oh, no. I'm dying. <laughs> okay, I, think I might dead. die. I might actually <laughs> die. <laughs> yeah, you totally died. Oh no! I totally died. Yeah. No, I wow. I block two, but that's still my whole health. Yeah. 
And oh, I mean, no. that was a bit. That was Elena. From I spoke so highly of you moments before yeah. this turn. <laughs> oh, yeah. no. oh God. Okay. I so think it's. I think it's because I'm not in this game to roll dice. She's now embodying my poor dice. Rolls. <laughs> yeah. Like so Elena got a three sword. That is like that is only one face on that die. <laughs> and oh. she got the two sword, which is only one face in the die. As oh well. my gosh. Yeah. But All right. Gotta, what that's, happens? That's, that's what that, that's what happens when you are greedy. So I remember <laughs> you spending your health to get more damage. And... <laughs> I do remember that as well. I wonder yeah, who gave I that advice. But that's fine. We still have two life bringer tokens. So what happens now is that uh, get a loose the aura. So oh. Marco can do the honors. And she will be back at the start of the next round. I'll just flip her here. In the same zone where she where she perished? Yeah, same zone. Ah, oh, okay. So, cool. so, so do we do we have to flip one of these life bringer tokens? Uh, mm -hmm. as soon as the round starts. Ah, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, first so, we finish resolving the Yeah, the we, we need to finish resolve this round. So the monster the monsters will move two here. They are looking for us. And now we have like the experience phase. So it, does any one of you has enough experience to level up? No. I don't think <laughs> the so. first first level is gonna be five experience. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm at four. I think most of us are at four, so we're close. Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. we're close. Okay, so now the dark we go to the darkness phase, in which the darkness track will advance for one. And the first time it advanced, nothing happened. But next turn, there will be a mob spawn in the portal again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now another round begins and it's the hero's face. And now we're going to flip the life bringer token. So you all, you all hear a cry. You see, uh, you see yeah. Greta being slashed <laughs> apart with a giant axe, wings descending down on her. And then you see like a blue glow and sort of a grunt as she throws off the... Uh, she throws off what are these guys the succubus that were slowly devouring her and yeah. pushes back to life one more one more swing into the nether one more chance Ooh. okay so okay. Qu questions about this so does greta lose all her all her fury or her rage yeah. yes she does no uh, or no or her life back okay so so total of eight game. life yeah yeah that's right and does she keep all her experience too? Yeah, she can. The experience okay. keeps. I was just knocked out. Nice. I'll take a little <laughs> nap. <laughs> just rest my eyes a quick second. Yeah. Get it, get it was tired. So. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have, you know, walked over those spikes. That was. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So a new round begins. So. Get it? Do you want to get revenge? Yeah, exactly. Oh, what a question. <laughs> nope, you're back up at the top of this round. You're already back. That's cool. Oh, the one problem is that now Geta does not have her aura. So should the paladin... Oh, the paladin can do that at oh, any time. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's true. We can, we can start by the paladin. I can do it again, yeah. Let's, let's start it. Okay. okay. So. I, I will use my mana potion. All right. First to get mana. <laughs> Because I need it. And mm -hmm. I'll spend one to put it out again on Geta. Please do not die this time. <laughs> <laughs> I will do my best. Wait, 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 wait. These guys are pretty strong. I mean, they roll an orange die and a yellow one. Yeah, I know. That's really, really powerful. And they also yeah. have three health, which uh, doesn't yeah. help at all. The great sword they have there is, is sort of ridiculous. Okay, now it's a test. All right. Okay, get us back in action, baby. So, yes. <laughs> so and it's now, should we, time. Because I have my three actions now, right? Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So you Do can you either push together and open a new door or something. Yeah. Or what, what do you think? Her. I think we can start going to the objective right the goal yeah pa because i think can, can handle that now 
So, Alad, and quick question: Can you attach your um, so, uh, your aura multiple times? Yeah, I think I'm, I'm going to do this right. Uh, Marco, can you attach your aura multiple times in a single turn? Yes. So how about like you're going to move to that door, right? What if you attach the blue aura to yourself, move there, and then reattach it to me later? Mm -hmm. That is a good idea. The, the, mm. the problem is I w wouldn't be able to bless Geta. Ah, uh, right. true. Yeah. But I do believe I do believe okay. Geta has enough damage. Yeah. You could also potentially get um uh what do you call it magic on a roll when you attack in there, because since you'll be able to get there faster. I did attach the blue aura from the rogue, I attached it to myself, and now I'm gonna move nice an extra move point, right? Yep. So, so th this way you can reach the door. One, two, and three. I'm gonna move two and open the door. Okay, let's see what's inside that door. Good luck. I will leave yeah. it to you, Renor. Ronan. I always get that name wrong for some reason. <laughs> Creaky door event. <laughs> right. Don't spawn mobs on this chamber. Instead, Ooh. spawn one mob on any uh, spawn point the players choose. Yep. Oh, wow. So, okay. so we only have one option, right? Yeah. No, we have no way. Because really? In this scenario, in this scenario we, can, we can either spawn the mobs on the portal oh. or we can spawn oh. mobs. Oh. When Geta is, I think it's up to Geta to try okay. because I think, really so, uh, so I think it's better in the portal, right? Yeah, yeah I think we can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I mean, after me, there's still the rogue's oh. turn and the wizard's turn. So tiny oh. little fire That's demons, true. tiny little fire people, <laughs> our favorite characters, the most. The most adorable of people that'll burn you alive. Yeah. <laughs> Are you entities? Ooh, okay. they have a rare treasure. Ooh. So, but we still oh, have wow. treasure there. Right? They have a devil's crossbow. Yeah, you still, you oh. still spawn. There's still treasure there. That was actually great, right? Because I can move here and already hey, yeah. activate. Yeah, it. pick up the treasure, activate the portal. Absolutely. That's no. a, that's like the. That's a problem for the future, you know. <laughs> but in the future, <laughs> we we'll have to deal with that. He's progressing we'll us ready. towards our death a little bit faster. Yeah. Oh, look at what I got here. Ooh. Forge gate spell. Place your hero in the closest forge. Oh, okay. That's not okay. that good now, but yeah. yeah because later, the next later, to the forge. Yeah. Later, when we are like overwhelmed by minions. You can just teleport yourself to the forge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you could run away. Yeah. Or flank them. <laughs> or tactically run away, Jan. <laughs> and that was my second action, actually, right? Because the first one was moving and opening the door, yeah. and then I moved and interact. Uh, and I spent the last action to activate yep. the, port, the, the token, right? Yes. Nice. Okay. Nice. So that was your three actions. Mm -hmm. Now, if you wanted to, at, at some point, you could transform your oh, dagger, yeah. your rusty sword, and your leather armor into one piece of better gear. However, yeah. probably not the best trade at the moment, considering you would also be <laughs> naked, but you could do that. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah I, I also have to Attach back the aura. Right? Oh, that's Let's right. Do it. Yeah, thank that's you, good. thank you. I wasn't going to say anything, just in case you wanted to keep it, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's better if we, we share. Thank you, Paladin. All right, yeah, so... That's it. that was my turn. That was your turn. Who wants to play next? The, the funny thing is that I'm, start, I'm, I'm still at the starting zone. Like, <laughs> I, I did nothing. <laughs> I, I don't remember anything you've done. Remember, we only remember the rogue and the berserker. So yeah. I have I have an idea, guys. Um, I think we need to level up. So what if I were to go in and take out the succubus? Then Greta and our our wizard can go in into that room and take them out. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, one thing I forgot is that when you flip this, you get five experience points. 
Oh, oh nice. Yeah, oh, yeah. do you? Yeah, the other one as well. The other one as well. But only for the person that that did that, right? Yeah. Uh, okay. The paladin okay. knew that, and he didn't say anything. <laughs> but, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I have eight experience. I can level up at the end of the round. Cool. Woo. Nice. Okay, so who wants to go next? So, so I'll go ahead and do it. Um, because I think I can okay. really help out. So, yeah. I'm going to flip my movement ability, so I can do one, two, three. Oh, actually, no, I don't have to flip movement. Yeah, but I will. I'm gonna do that to flip movement. I'm gonna do one, two. And you then I'm going to go ahead and open You can use door. your additional movement, Jan, to pick up that treasure. Oh, that's right. Oh, Thank that's you. True, that's true. Ha ha. The <laughs> treasure that I've been oh. finagling with the entire yeah. time is yeah. finally Because there's no way you were leaving that room without a longbow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. Wait a minute. Hmm. This is really good. I'm not sure if I want. No, I'm going to keep this to the side, though, because this is really, really good. Yeah. Um, I might actually equip that later in case somebody needs a skull axe more than me. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and also open this door. So let's go ahead and do another spot. Whoa. Whoa! What are you doing? Whoa! Because because Greta and the magician are going to go in. So I'm trying to save Greta a movement point. All right. Wait. Why are they going that way? We. This was what we talked about at the beginning of the round, Jesse. All right. Do you boo? <laughs> but uh, okay. So. <laughs> do, do we want to do that though do we want to go ahead and like gain xp from this area or should we just keep it closed uh mm -hmm. honestly it's up to you guys but we have a lot of things to deal with already yeah okay. spawning spawning more minions like we, you almost got one person did get taken out by a single horde spawning <laughs> another one immediately maybe not the best plan I was thinking about leveling up, but no worries. I will keep the door closed then. I am very glad that door has a lock on it. You don't know how to pin. <laughs> <laughs> but the rope just like went straight to the door. Yeah. And everyone was like, no, 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 no. You no, stop. No, 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 no. stop I just right. looked, I looked through the keyhole. That's all I did. I just looked through the keyhole and I was like, okay, maybe I shouldn't open this door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I'm going to activate my second token, which is going to give me two rerolls this round. Okay, so okay. I should very much be able to take these guys out. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm going to that also initiates an attack. So I'll go ahead and draw the amount of dice I need. Yes, and that also includes that. Unfortunately, I'm not shadowed, so I yep. won't be able to activate that. And we're oh, okay. So that's all blue. Okay. But the good news is that I can ignore uh, swipes, and if they swipe me, I can actually damage them instead. So, mm -hmm. so I'm true. I'm attacking me, honestly. Bring it. Okay, <laughs> let's see. Great. No, absolutely oh. no. <laughs> <laughs> nothing. So I'm going to re-roll this. Gosh darn. And then re-roll this. There we okay. go. Okay. Um, let's see. I also, I'm. I think I might spend some mana... Hmm. I'm gonna spend the mana so that I can re-roll one of these. Let's see if I get lucky. Ha! Right. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see how many I killed. I think I was able to kill at least two. Um, so let's see. I have no, unfortunately not. I think it's, but I, I, I think it's I, one. Yes, I was able to kill one. And so you have one, one you have one piece of overflow damage. Correct. Yep. So I'll so gain one. Actually, actually, the wound, the wound you, you actually deal back to them, right? Yes. So I deal... Three so plus two. one. Yeah, one extra damage. Yeah. Cool. Oh, no, but, oh, but cool. there's a yeah, yeah. The shield, right? Yeah, so yeah, it's so only five, one damage. Five yeah. total, but only one damage overflows. Hey, yeah. not, not too shabby, right? Not horrible. And yeah. I also still have another attack, by the way. It could be better. Oh. Yep. <laughs> I will <laughs> try my very best. Um, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and attack again, but now that is one less black dice that I will be rolling. Um, and I be, I'll be using my poison. So what that means is that I will, I think, right, I'll be able to leave this on a character if they survive. Yeah. You basically attach that a poison to the person that you're, to the horde that you're fighting. They're not oh, going to survive. Ooh, well, yes, Ooh. they are actually. Um, Reroll re -roll that shield. I don't have I don't have rerolls anymore, but I, I'll have to spend the magic. Oh no, I can only use my ability once per yeah, once per act. 
Yeah. For attack, though, right? But you can do it again because it's an, this yeah. is another attack. Oh, it's a set. Okay, got it. So I'm going to do that and definitely going to re-roll this. <laughs> yeah. Right. yeah. Um, what is their That's attack? Good. So they're going to deal one wound to the attacking defending hero. Yeah, I guess I don't have another ch uh, another chance. So uh, I'll go ahead and do this. But good news, uh, Geta, you do not have to activate this person because they will die at the beginning of their turn. Oh. That's true. Because that damage actually stays there. Um, so mm. we kill another person, and they will take three damage at the beginning of their next turn. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, Geta, if you want to leave the zone with another figure, you take damage equal to the number of figures in that zone. A number Should of enemies. Should attack, though, oh. so I get the XP? You certainly we're gonna, could. We're all going to get it, though. Even Geta's if she true. dies by poison? If she yeah. dies by uh, yeah, so the rogue will, will get one XP because technically he was the one that killed. Actually, it's yeah, it's Phaedra. She was the one that killed him, and we all get two XP because the leader was killed. Ah, oh, okay. So then I guess I don't have to. You can charge um... forward again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess I'm not too good at moving around though. So one. Hmm, two, and I can open this door, maybe. Yep. So that's, well, ooh, wait do, a minute. Wanna, do you want to <laughs> pause there, or do you want to open that door? So that's mm, one, two, it's not the best two. idea to open the door at the end of the round, right? Because you'll spawn. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah. And the magician is not going to reach you. Yeah, they, they, they can't attack me in this turn. They'll have to move twice. Mm-hmm. Then I'm well, opening. They they are carrying the devil's bow, so they actually have ranged. Oh, these guys, you mean? Yeah, yes. but they can't they can't attack diagonally, Jesse, so they won't be able to reach her. But they'll yeah. move two down. Yeah, yeah. and these yeah. guys yeah. move two, and so, yeah. the situation can get pretty bad. Okay, mm -hmm. so no, just wait right here. <laughs> All right, so I guess that's your turn, right? Yeah. Yeah. You, get you know. At least you've moved. The wizard still hasn't done a single thing. Yeah. <laughs> just, I'm just waiting for you guys to finish Incubus. Let me know when you do that. <laughs> I'm, I'll just be chilling. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So I'll I'll move to reach you guys. So one, two. That's my first action. One, two. That's my second action. And one. And I'll just stay here. Oh, mm -hmm. actually, actually, no. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use my action, my my hero action, to recover mana. Mm, nice. So since we are all done, uh, that now is the monster space. So the, what are you going? Let's start for the one that's going to die by poison. <laughs> okay. So ah. when, when when the monster activates, the poison triggers, and in your card it says that you do two damage, right? Mm -hmm. Which is that you have to kill. The, the poison goes back to you. And I take the stuff. Yep. And, and you get yourself a great sword. That's it. Mm -hmm. And nice. let's take a common treasure. And a common treasure. And remember, we all get two experience points. Ooh, sprint oh, yeah. potion immediately move two. Ooh, nice. I don't know. I'm starting to feel like a rogue, 100%. <laughs> I'm getting all the things. You're, You're getting, getting all there. the loots. <laughs> yeah. All the loot, getting fasty, having crafty little things you can do. I dig it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So that was the that was the succubus. So now we move these guys here since they cannot see us. They're moving and trying to look out for us. You have these stone golems just wrap around, or, or they're uh, they're actually, they're not golems, they're gargoyles just wrapping around the corner. I like to imagine they're kind of like a beehive, so they're slamming into walls and just merging <laughs> into rock as they go. Wow, that's yeah. cool. <laughs> and the, All the right. tiny, the tiny little adorable uh, fire demons. Right. <laughs> they're tiny little fire <laughs> <laughs> adorable, adorable burning fire entities. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right. So, okay. So now the coolest part, experience phase in which I believe mm -hmm. some of you guys will be able to level up, right? Oh, for oh, sure. Yes. We all got two XP from the succubus dying, right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I've already selected mine. I'm gonna grab oh, this card. What did you select? Dark, uh, dark swiftness. Okay. I want to be able to reach any part of this map very easily. So you're gaining two tokens. One allows you to draw another token. The other allows you to get extra movement points. That's pretty powerful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this one that allows you to draw another token, that means that you take an action and then you get a free action after that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm the only one that I'm not able to level up. That's oh, what you get watching your your fellow party do everything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> your turn will be explosive when it once it actually happens. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, what I would suggest is let, let me get this token here mm -hmm. so I can catch up with you guys. So, I'm going to get Tranquility one. Ooh. Uh, Ooh. I will return the favor since you gave me the, the health potion. I can now heal you. Oh, I, thank I don't you. know why you think that we need healing, but I, <laughs> I think the party's going to appreciate it. And then, Elena, what did you choose down here? Okay, I chose Stance Mastery. Is that it? So I can heal too, anytime, once per round. Again, and I'm not sure. I'm not sure the need for healing, but I do. Really? I, do <laughs> I just died. <laughs> <laughs> I, died. Oh, you, I thought you just took a nap. You died? Get, oh my god. <laughs> okay. So that means we are going to the darkness phase in which we advance the darkness track by oh. one. Oh, but no. now we have this mob icon here, which means well. there will be more enemies in the portal. Great stuff. Let's All right. We have some skeletons. That artwork is awesome. Crossbow skeletons. Skeletons, skeletons, found them. Nothing. To I like, I, I like to, I like crossbow skeletons because they're kind of like rackety, but up on top of the banisters, just firing off in any direction. <laughs> okay, so we've summoned in some some rackety tackety skeletons. Yep. We've given them some treasure. We've all leveled oh, up. Is it time one, to kill things again? There's one cool thing that happened when you guys level up. We increase the chance of getting better items. Oh, oh that's so yeah. How many of you have have leveled up? The three of you, right? Yeah, yeah. Three went to level two. And make sure that everyone leveled up oh, uh, also yeah. got that additional max health because that's, that's going to be important true. as well. That's so that's the question: Do I get an like a health token, or do I just get absolutely? Six? I do. You Great. just get you just get a health token, and your max your max health has increased as well. So because three people leveled up, we're going to be adding three more of those uh, of those blue tokens to the bag, meaning there is a slightly higher chance of gaining better treasure. <laughs> yeah. Nice. And when you get to the level three, then you start adding epic tokens, which means mm -hmm. you get access to the last item back, treasure back. Oof. Okay, let's do it. Okay. This feels like it's been hard already, and you haven't even got to the boss. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so who wants to start? Let's see. I'm going to draw my stuff, um, and I'll let you know. Can, can I start so I can, like, kill a few mobs and get a, some experience? I because, was going like, to I'm suggest little, that, because I'm you can kill them from a distance. <laughs> yeah, Do you guys good. mind? Yeah. No. no? Round the corner, use your magic, hopefully save the uh, the barbarian down there. <laughs> yeah, I, I will do my best. Okay, so I spend my first movement to move here. So I'm shadow zone, I'm fine, I'm happy with that. I'll spend one mana to rotate my amulet, mm -hmm. which means I got to my skill. Uh, those gargoyles who've will be set on fire for sure. <laughs> yeah. So I have a magic wand that gives me one yellow die. Hey, mm -hmm. hey, a magic staff, not a magic wand. Yeah. Magic staff, <laughs> you're, a, you're a wizard, <laughs> sir. <laughs> wizard Addy. Okay, yeah. let's see. I get also the purple die. Ah, because you're in darkness. Good. Yep. And let me... First, I'll roll, and then I'll decide if I add things or not. 
I believe in you, Battle Wizard. Yes. <laughs> okay, Ooh. let's hope for the best. Kill these gargoyles. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, wow. Yeah. That's uh, a lot of damage. Damage. <laughs> So you know, it's good. Do? It's good we were hoping for the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is not the best, definitely. <laughs> the gargoyles, their ability is to get plus one shield, which means they have four shields here. Mm -hmm. so, Ridiculous. Not even with like, my they're ability. like hardening the stone into a chrysalis around yeah. them. Hey, I do have one bit of good news you get one magic back. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> so, even with my ability, I'm not able to do any damage, so I'll just keep it for the next roll. I uh, will attack again. Wow, okay, wow. okay. well, that's, that's better that's than last better. time. That's a little bit better. I take one wound. Because of this die mm -hmm. here, which is fine. And what I'm now they get two defense, I have two attack. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my amulet. So first I spend two mana to add two swords to the attack and a fire token. So the fire token goes straight to the minions. Not just that. Since I use, I rotate my amulet, I can spend again one mana to add plus one mm -hmm. hit. Oh, nice. And mm -hmm. the amulet rotates again, which is back to the healing. I'm not going to use that yet. However, I got one, two, three, four, five swords against two shields, which means three damage. I may only have two, so that's one is destroyed and there's one carryover. Oh, and, right. And Alex, quick question. Um, if you were able to get that to spin again, like this same attack phase, would you be able to activate it again? Yes, in the case of the wizard, yes. So that's because, because I have a recommendation for you. If you were to spin this two times, you're going to gain another magic here. Mm -hmm. So you can take another person out. That is true. But then I'll spend all my mana. Would, mm -hmm. but you also have one additional action. Which no, I, I have that's my third action. But oh, I'll that's do your I, I want to I want to I want to set the world on fire. So <laughs> let's do it. Some men just want to watch the world burn. So you're spending <laughs> two to to perpetuate the spin, landing exactly. over here on this one again. I use this dice here to get one mana back. Hmm? So I do get one mana back. Spending and two and again two mana to add cool. plus two swords and one fire token. You are so, officially at uh, S6 XP. Yeah. Wow, I did it. I can't believe I did it. <laughs> that was a yeah. very nice combo. <laughs> so so, so you round I... the corner there. You just stretch out your staff and a burst of fire <laughs> just splits through the uh, splits through the uh, the gargoyles. Nice. Not, not even your stone skin can <laughs> handle my fire. So, <laughs> so what I did is like I, I, I dealt two more damage, two more swords. So I killed another one. Yeah. One, yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Cool, 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 cool. And I already I already upped you your your thing. Oh, and by the way, if you want to end with a little bit of magic, you do have a magic potion. That's true. Oh, that's true. So I'll do that because maybe I can heal you guys or do something else. We're going to be okay. You'll see. <laughs> You don't need me, right? <laughs> okay, so here's the important question, guys. What do we want to do now? Because I can take out, I think I can take out this group here, or I have so much movement this round. Um, you go activate the other mm. portal. I can do so. No, no, no. I'm not going to activate the portal because uh, Alex wants to activate that portal. Sure. So, oh, by the way, Alex, uh, the. What does fire do? Is it one damage or two damage? Oh, it's a die, right? It's a die. It's a so yellow just, die just roll. Like, yeah, just like the traps. Mm -hmm. uh, at the start of their activation, they will discard any fire token they have, and they will roll one yellow die for each fire token. That's the damage they will get. Nice. Great damage. No chance to defense. So so to give you guys an idea, I have a total of five uh, movements think, that I can I, do this turn, by the way. Mm. Oh, wow. Uh, so maybe we should clean the, the gargoyles first, and then you run and activate. Yeah, because like the, the, you cannot right. move through the gargoyles, you're gonna take like a lot of damage. I think mm. I should clear the way, and then you 
come and activate the thing. Yeah. So okay. basically, I go last this turn, right? Because then the paladin can go in and clear the gargoyle. You can yeah. do this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's a good idea. I think I should go first, okay. right? The next one should be me, right? Okay, so I'm going to move. Oops. One, two. So my second action is moving again. And then I can attack. Right. So now I have two yellow dice because I I, I have the dagger. Oh, oh nice. nice. Are you able to use both weapons at the same time? Yeah, because mm -hmm. they are one-handed, so it, we, I can use both. Yeah, not Ooh, just cool. that, they, they have the same attack type. Yeah, so they, they are both they're both melee, so he, he can he can add both. Awesome. And I need two black dice. I was going to say, like, oh, do you want to add some uh, your aura? But you, unfortunately, you don't yeah. have magic. And, and that's why yeah. I want to attack also, because I want to, to regain my mana with the dice, right? Oh, mm, wait, nice Marco, time. quick question. Do you have this? I know it's not, like, the most efficient thing, but you could activate this to teleport here and then just do one movement to end there. Mm, that's and not then I would have one more attack, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm I think it's good. Yeah, I, I'm going to do it. Cool. Okay, so you have two actions, and one of those actions is now going to be yes. attacking. So you, you found the scroll, opened it up, and it just <laughs> teleported you backwards, and you're like, what the heck? First you find the scroll, yeah. and you're like, who would hide this right next to the first <laughs> And then you immediately use it, and you're like, oh, that's right. Okay. No, I see. Like, okay. Yeah. Got it. You, you teleported oh. two meters. <laughs> <laughs> so my first attack. So okay, be because I'm in shadow, I can I can roll these dice. So let's see if you can do something. It goes. Yeah, come on. I believe yeah. in you, Paladin. Ah, oh, there's magic. some magic for you. So oh, that's good, actually. All right. Okay. That nice. Four, right? Yeah, it's four magic. That's crazy. Yeah. That is exactly what you were looking for. Yeah, and and, no. and you can use yes, that magic that. right now to negate their uh Yeah. Wow. Defense. Well, oh, because shields. of your because of your dagger ability, yeah. Yeah. So now do the, yeah, that's do the magic. Great. So so I can kill one of, of them. Right? Yes. Yep. Two them. Well done. All right. So again, one, and because three. you did that awkward teleport backwards, you have one more attack. Yes. Oh, Marco, yeah. did, you, did you lower your XP down to z uh, down to zero after you leveled up? Oh, I, I actually had had ten. You had ten? Wow, that's awesome. Because uh, I, I got this this objective token, so. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's oh I see. I see. The objective <laughs> token that he didn't tell us that gave XP. <laughs> no. Nice, nice. Okay, You're so very selfish for a I, I have one more attack, right? So yeah, yeah. Oh wait, you rolled an extra oh. shadow die. Oh, that's right. Oh, you don't oh yeah, black die. So I, we can just—they're the same result, so we can just ignore that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep, that works. Mm. Okay. So, so you do have a free uh, roll. Yeah, I think we should, I should re-roll, right? I think I, should, I will re-roll the shadow die. Yeah, I mean, if you only take one wound, that's fine. Yeah, because I can ignore one of the swipes here, so... Mm, that's right. <laughs> oh. Nope, that's yeah. what you get. <laughs> okay. So I, I, I don't do any damage. Oh, I can spend one more mana to ignore one of the... Of the yeah, shield, un right? unfortunately, yeah. They, you will only do one damage. Hmm. Oh, yeah, I anyway, see. because they get they get plus one defense, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, okay, but I think that's good enough. Yeah, that's good. I'm happy with that. Yeah. It's that's progress. Mm -hmm. All right. Are we gonna so, are we gonna unleash the berserker? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm slightly less so. confident in my ability to like crush mobs. No, no, but... no. You've That's got it. Right. You're in the dark. You're in the dark. You've got That's it now. Right. That's yeah. right. I was blinded by the light before. Don't you just have an army? We have a Geta. So I remove both of the knees and I get my orange die. Let's see what I can do. 
Oh. Ooh. Yes. Okay, so... not bad. All right. Oh, wait, question. Paladin, do you want to bless that aura? Oh, of course. Sorry. I totally <laughs> forgot that I had mana now. <laughs> <laughs> He's not so, used to mana. Yeah. So you have a reroll and one free sword. sword all right. Oh, I have a free sword. So it's four and they're defending two, right? Mm -hmm. yep. Reroll. Yeah. I sure re -roll, re roll one of those my... defenses and you'll be able to burst through them. Or I can re-roll my... Oh, that's true. Because there's not but much value in that now. I think the shadow guy has, has a lot more potential, right? Yeah. Ah, sorry. I'll just... Ooh! There we go. Yes. Okay, that's better. Good. That's that's going to split right that's, through that's them. That's what's they already, they already have one uh one damage on them. Yeah, they're dead. Yeah. So, they're dead. They're both Elena? dead. Yeah, that, would you do something dead. for me? Would you what? now that you've now that you've had a very successful turn, describe to me how you destroy those gargoyles? <laughs> <laughs> so, so after the paladin takes out one, like with a lot of effort, I just, I just click my knuckles and say, okay, let's help this poor guy, and I step in and swing my <laughs> big, what what is my weapon? My great demon sword and crush them all. <laughs> I like it. Just turn them into gravel against the side of the wall. Exactly. Yeah. So here's the proof that they have blood inside the stones. Oh, another another um, another idea. Do you even though you don't need to? Do you <laughs> want to take one damage so that you can move, change your stance to reckless so that you can later charge into these guys? How would I take one damage with your special ability? That's true. Oh. Just do a little bit of overkill. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Step on them after after they're already <laughs> the ground. Just mulch oh. them into sand. <laughs> sure. Okay. Let's do that. <laughs> and it took a damage. And did everyone get the two experience for wiping yep. out another mob? And Elena yes. also gets loot, loot, loot. <gasps> That's true. That's right. That's true. Oh my god. Why did I get a bow? All she right, gained the devil's oh bow. I have Which is awesome. so much oh. my whole life. And a magical robe. Oh, wow. So I have to choose between the devil's bow and the great demon sword. Hmm. Right. Yes. And, also, and also between the leather armor and the magical robe. Yep. What is the, the special ability of the magical robe? It gives you a free magic every time you defend. Yeah. Oh. Every time you attack, you get our magic. So that is definitely for our wonderful wizard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and not me. So I think I'll just put this right here and wait for the wizard to come pick it up. You're just, <laughs> getting, you know, protecting it, holding it for yeah. So we have now, like, together four items that we can visit the forge and trade them if you want to. Mm -hmm. for a better item. Yes, so I got my bow and I will equip that so I can attack those guys at the end of the corridor. Nice. Uh, and that's two yellow dice and a shadow die. And so you're you're going to do a, a charge, right? For In order to take them out? No, oh, no, no you can just do an attack action. action. Yeah, I can just attack. Yep. Nice. Perfect. The second yellow dot. Here it is. I found it. Uh, shadow mode attack plus one sword. So a free attack. Whatever this Ooh. does. That's awesome. You can do this. <laughs> you can do that. <gasps> oh, wait. This is good. So you re heal three and gain three rage. Mm -hmm. That's good. So I heal three and gain three rage. Why? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you activated your shadow ability. Except if you want to re-roll that, of course. No, I think yeah. I should re-roll one of the paws, because otherwise it spawns another skeleton. Mm, that seems that's reasonable. Cool. I don't oh, know that wait, there are wait. higher entities. Oh, that's right. Oh, but yeah. I do recommend that, because they are going to set you on fire. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. <laughs> okay, so I will roll. Ah, no, I did oh. it again. <laughs> okay, no, so wait, it's fine. Wait. Let's see. This uh, I remember, yeah. That? 
This was this. Yep, and these were black. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there yeah, we okay, go. Cool. Okay. So I will re-roll this one. No, why did you do that? Why so remember it... with R. Yeah, just Okay. Hey! Uh, nice. That's, that's good. Nice. That's good. I'm just slightly on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I do have good news, Elena. You have managed to take one of them out. Yay. Oh, wait. Your shadow mode also gives you a plus one, so you also wounded the next guy. Well, and she could take one She could take one more wound to do an additional damage. Oh, that's, that's true. Right. So, wait. In total, I'm doing four damage right now, and I get... I get to have a wound to do one more. So five, is that it? Five total, you're wiping one out and you have two damage remaining on the uh, adorable little fire minions. Perfect for a uh, little rogue to take care of business. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and now, of, of course, the rogue will get all the treasure and experience, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, like, yeah, well, of course, that that's always been the the idea here, right? <laughs> right. I think so I think that's the about accurate. Like, why don't you guys go first? <laughs> yeah, like he was mind. planning that at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna flip my plus two. Elena, are you done with your turn? Yes. Oh wow! Wait a minute. I can do so many different things. Oh, wait a minute. Can I can I make this happen? One, two, and then two zones with this. Oh. oh, man. Okay, so I had I have an opportunity to do something really cool, but unfortunately, I am one step away from making it happen. <laughs> I could have activated my sprint potion to move two spaces, and if I would have actually been here, I could have activated my move up to uh, move up to two zones before attacking mm. and you know wipe the floor. With these guys. I see. Um, if I had, if I had my longbow, I could have done so, but I don't have it equipped at the beginning of my turn. So I don't, I can't, I can't do that. Right. Because it costs an action to equip that. Yeah. Yeah. Next. Oh man. I can still make it like the plan is still going. I just was hoping to be even more efficient. Yeah, I'm trying to think a way that you can actually do that. So what you can do is like, you can move three, you can actually move four. I can Ooh, move five. Yeah. I can move five, actually. Five. Yeah, because I have my... So yeah, move. I'll be able to attack two wow. times, no matter what. So you can move yeah, five yeah, that's and good. then use your token, and you can save your potion for later. Mm -hmm. So I I'm going to so. move five. One, two, three, four. Oh, wait, sorry. One, two, three, four, five to get in there. Wow. I, won't have, <laughs> I won't have my shadow ability, unfortunately. Um, but maybe I'll be okay regardless. Um... Okay, question. How many, how much, uh, you only have one. Uh, I was hoping that you could probably detach and reattach the attack. Oh, no. I can't. Uh, I wish I had something so I could give you uh, in order to make that happen. Anyways, so... So everyone, everyone feels like a wind brush against them and then in the light <laughs> in front of them, it's obscured by the shape of their friendly rogue. <laughs> Ooh, okay, so... One, one yellow, one orange. I, I, I can heal you before you attack since you, you have only three. Dogs. Yes, that would be wonderful. Thank you. It, That's a good it, idea. That's a good idea. Mm, not necessary. <laughs> <laughs> Plus three and one shield. Oof. Okay, this is a. Uh, this isn't necessarily the easiest battle I've had, but we will we will see. Okay. And oh, oh wow. god! Okay. <laughs> oh, oh! I'm glad that you. <laughs> oh my god! Um, I can ignore one of these, so I'm doing three damage directly to their faces. Um, I'm gonna use my last magic. Oh right, this this should probably be like that. I'm gonna use my last magic to reroll this. Okay. Oh, oh come no. on! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah. Wow. What, uh, guys? Help? <laughs> help? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, Elena, your rogue tripped on the way. Yeah. So oh, at, at least, 
At least you can do one damage to them, right? Yes. Wait. So one one dies. One of them dies. Oh. Uh, yeah. So give me one health. I am going to lose one health, and I'm going to get two fire. Yep. Great. Yep. Great stuff. <laughs> oh lord. Okay. Oh man, I'm scared. Okay, so I still have another action that I can do this turn. Um, oh man, I guess I will. You know what? Whatever. By the way, guys, I might die because these skeletons have range. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, but they, they cannot attack from there. They'll move one because there's a door here, and then they will attack. So you take only one attack from these guys. <laughs> only one. True. <laughs> only one. Only one attack. Just one. Just one. <laughs> Not a problem. Uh, yeah, he, you'll, be fine. Fine. you'll be fine. You probably should attack again. Oh my god. He didn't count. Oh. oh. I, oh, oh, okay, oh. so this is not as horrible as it once was. Okay, so I think I'll be That's able to. That's only one because trial. there's one less die there, Jan. The roll still. St <laughs> <laughs> so I get right, to. So... Yep. Yeah. Mm. You can. You should probably re-roll one of these. Yeah. <laughs> probably I... this one. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. Okay, so I'll re-roll that. Gosh okay. darn it. That's a bit better. Um, I can't unfortunately reroll anything else. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, I guess this will be it. I'll only be able to do two damage. I wish I had something where I could like circumvent defense. So I'll do damage there. Um, mm -hmm. I have I have my two my two things. And that's it. Wait, unfortunately, what? Wait, you. Oh yeah, you do not take this wound here, right? Or you're Correct. not counting with this wound. Yep. Cool. Correct. Cool, but cool. I do take another yeah, fire. Yeah. Yay! But yeah, yeah. No, don't worry. I'll, I'll heal you before That's you bad. take the fire. Yeah, you'll heal me before I burn up into a cinder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just like collapse <laughs> ashes. I'll, I'll, I'll That's do what this you favor. Get wearing that huge cloak around these fire people. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. not a it's not a good idea. A fire hazard. Okay, so I'm gonna do a, I'm, I'm I'm gonna do a thing. Um, I have I have a defensive abilities here, so I will be using my potion to okay. sprint out of here, right? So one two. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, not there. Uh, one two. I'll go with all of you, of all my friends. <laughs> and you see uh, this? You I'm, see this flaming cloak run backwards <laughs> down the hallway. <laughs> <laughs> there is but, smoke everywhere. <laughs> I, I'm gonna get attacked with three, unfortunately. So let's see if I survive. Uh, I still yeah, have so four damage. I have, mm -hmm. I have good news for you. So we are here on a on a pillar spot, mm -hmm. which means they cannot attack us because we are all hidden behind a pillar. So they need to reach us in order to attack us. But mm -hmm. they, they are an attack of retribution, right? Because I left the space when he oh, leaves. Yeah. It's, it's not an what attack. You immediately take the, the damage. You take two damage. Oh, I just take two. Mm -hmm. oh. So it's one per every minion, basically. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, I think it's one per miniature, right? Yeah, one per miniature. Okay, so I take three damage, but at least I survive. Yeah. Um... yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and you're not getting attacked, so I think it's it's cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, wizard, I definitely need your help. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I will. Don't worry. <laughs> that's that's my role here, right? Actually, I'll think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, that is that is officially it for my turn. All right. It was cool, not cool. as epic as I was hoping. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> it was definitely <laughs> something. <laughs> yeah. It was different. <laughs> okay, so what's happening now is that these guys here, they're ranged. So they oh. cannot attack here because we are hidden behind the pillars. So they will move one. They still can attack, so they will move twice. And here they are. Nice. Okay, and those guys here, they will move twice as well. They they will be able to attack here, but again, we are behind the pillar. Mm-hmm. Oh, right, because they have... Oof. Thank yeah. God for that pillar. Thank God for architecture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so now we can level up, which means I can level up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, I can't. So I spend five here, 
I will advance by one. And I got one health, which is really good for me because I don't have much health. Mm, I remember when I had health. <laughs> uh, yeah, before you, you went you running add? down a hallway screaming. Leave me alone, Jesse. <laughs> I had I had a vision. I tried to I tried to do it. It did not work. Okay. Oh, guys. By the way, we also add a new um, rare treasure to the bag, based Ooh, on the darkness. Oh yeah. yeah. And also based on Alex's level up, right? Oh, that's true. Based off his level up as well. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. Ooh so Alex, what did you select do? down here? So I selected one of the abilities I like most is the Battle Wizard. Nice. So what it says that now I can carry weapons, melee attacks, and they count as magic attacks. So that means I can combo magic weapons with melee weapons. Oh, wow. that's cool. So you like imbue a, a rusty sword with like a like a, a spell as you're swinging it? Yeah, uh. <laughs> exactly. I just need a weapon from someone. For well, example, we've got, we've got a few of those laying around. I have <laughs> all the wares you could need. Cool. cool, cool. <laughs> all right, and that was my level up. So we already advanced the darkness track by one. Cool. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I, I moved it. Mm -hmm. Right. So back to us again. I'm gonna go first, so I can die. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> 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 okay, so <laughs> I guess I'm going first since I'm gonna do the support role uh, first. That's fine for you guys. If I go first, yeah. I'm just gonna heal. I'm gonna heal Freda. Yeah, okay. please. <laughs> so I spend my first action to get mana back. Otherwise, I would not be able to do that. Mm -hmm. mm. I will rotate by one by spending one mana. And I'll spend two mana to heal you by three. I hope that's enough for you to survive. Maybe. We'll see. But thank you so very much for trying. <laughs> At least I tried. <laughs> and I still have one action. I, I swear, if this gameplay ends with a rogue oh. catching on fire and dying. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, you have two actions, right? I actually have... Oh, that's true. Thank you for reminding me of that. The healing is not an action. So I'm going to attack those fiery entities with fire. Can, can you attack them? them because you kill it? <laughs> oh, that's well, true, can... I can't. Mm. What I can do is join the party. <laughs> Woo! Is there space for one more? Yes, there is. Yes. <laughs> space and for now I'm going <laughs> to... And I can, I can either trade with uh -huh. you guys, or I can attack them. I think I'm going to attack them first. So I get a yellow die, a purple die. They have two minions, so two black. Man, I've noticed that purple dice in this game are so important for you to have a good attack. Yeah, yeah. that's true. Yeah. I guess that's it, right? Yeah, I think so. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh! Okay. What? I didn't get any mana, right? No. Damn. Okay, that's fine. So I took like two wounds. And a fire. And one fire. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and one fire. Those guys are nasty. Yeah, they are. But you killed yeah, one of them. I dealt, I've dealt three damage. Yeah. One yeah, of them is dead. Three. Oh, yeah. Two? Three? Three damage. Three damage. Three damage. So we only need one more damage, guys, to take out another guy. Okay. Um, That was your second action, right, Alex? No, that was my third That was his third. He had to I move in there. Oh, that's yeah. right. That's right. So, if the paladin can... I have a question. I have a bow. Yeah. Can I attack from the pillar? Like, can I attack those skeletons? Yes. 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 Okay. Yeah. So, I think the paladin should try to take the fire entities mm. down. Mm -hmm. I, I should go first, right? Because if I yeah. get mana back, I can 
bless you. Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> You're also uh, the only person not on fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, uh, I will catch fire on my turn. I, I, I'm sure. <laughs> okay, let's go. So, I will attack with two yellow. Two yellow, because you'll dual wielding shadow die because yeah. you're in the shade you're going to be rolling one of those black die one and they're going to have black, one of their blue. One blue yes you can do it let's go oh okay, okay. okay. You, got, you got yourself mad that's good and you did it you Thank took you. you took one out yeah you killed one uh -huh. great i get one xp with mm -hmm. one more xp i can level up so that's great. Whoa, you're going to level three? Yeah. Yes. Nice. <laughs> That's <laughs> nice so, for him and bad for all of us. I'm I'm yeah. excited to see the next degree of spawns. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna attack again. Oh wait, without this. A... Oh, oh yeah. that's right. Ooh, Not bad. Oh, there, there we go. go. Okay, that's actually very good. Oh, so I activate oh, my I... shadow ability. So yeah. you get healed. Yeah. I am so you happy. Fully healed. Thank you will get fully healed. Thank you so much, Paladin. You have so very much saved my life. Yeah, that that was great, right? Yes. You rock. And everybody gets two X. So I can we roll also. So I can Oh I can you actually can I, I don't Oh, let's reroll. But you can ignore time. one of their defenses, right? And then if it, if it's not oh, like... Oh, no way. You didn't heal me, man. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you healed everyone. Sorry. I, I think I rerolled the blue dice. If it's not blank, I can spend a mana to ignore one shield. I think it's better oh, to reroll right. first. Yeah. Yeah, so I have to spend the mana. Right, not a problem. Then... Cool. Yep, yep, it's 100%. Right. Yep. That was enough. And you got a lot of Good. cool stuff. Oh, yeah, and we got two experience, right? Oh. Yeah, I got three, and you got two. Wow, look at you. You're already at 12. That's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I got to say, I'm almost there as well. And also get the hair right in here. Let's see. Ooh. Oh, that's a leather skirt. Oh, oh my God. God. That's very nice. Dude, that nice. is amazing. I like Wow, I like okay. This. Okay. That is a really good one. Woof. Bye bye. Okay. Fire energy. Next to the bag. I'm, I'm actually using this fire here. Yes. Okay, and that was my second attack, right? Mm hmm. Yeah. So I still have an action. Uh, maybe I should trade. But now that's everyone in the same space. Oh, yeah. The question is, really do you want to give? Mm. Do you want to give stuff to the rogue potentially to go craft a better item? Yeah, yeah. That's that's mm. what I was thinking. But... That's it. And if you guys have like an item left, I could use like another item in my. Well, actually, I was hand. giving something to uh, to our friend here, to our wizard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so I, I can give the the health potion that the rogue gave gave me. Oh yeah. Earlier. To you oh I'm, i definitely will need that and so guys just to be clear we can all trade now right, right. yeah we, we can, can all trade, trade freely yeah so, so elena magical... should... mm -hmm. yeah. oh yes magical. wizards take this magic oh room. nice it's so cool everyone's thinking about the wizard now <laughs> <laughs> yeah, always thinking about the wizard okay right. the entire okay, so time let me just give you uh one thing it's that the items that we start with, they are considered common items in order for us to trade on the on the forge. Mm. So we can use them as well to get better items. Yeah, mm. I think we should get uh, all items to the rogue, right? The rogue is yeah. Going we can to... focus. We can focus all item in one person. I'm just imagining this tiny rogue. She's just carrying all of this. I am. <laughs> yeah, rogue, take the, yeah. the axe as well, please. It's cool that he's on fire, but he's he's okay with that. Like he's trading items and talking <laughs> I am with so us. Fine. I am so happy right <laughs> now. I'm living my best life. 
That's right. Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, it's a, a good turn. I think. Huh? And I got this additional turn, by the way. I think I want this because uh, this bow is not really good for melee. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Um, all right, all right, okay. Why are you going to bless it Just... this turn? Yeah, I'm thinking about that. Uh, I think I should bless Geta again, right? With the attack. Yes. I will try to get as many skeletons as I can in my turn. Nice. We believe in you. Yes, I believe in me too now. So, what question? Nice, is, nice. When trade would like if Geta would trade out that bow. Would that mean she immediately equips her demonic uh, sword, or would oh, she? Oh yeah, yeah. It's called, yeah, it's called a trade trade equipment action. So you can equip and you can trade. You can rearrange your stuff. Like oh. you can do everything on a trade action. So that means that we can get no, three items you... on the forge. No, oh, that's you good. Want bow back sorry, and sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you want your bow or you want your great sword? <laughs> I will attack them with my bow. Well, uh, oh, it doesn't we really have make reckless sense, charge. They that, like they retaliate either way. Yes. Okay, so then take the bow. That's <laughs> All right. Can I? Are you sure? Yeah. There's no way back. <laughs> There's no way back from here. So I guess I know what I'm doing this turn. <laughs> <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> no pressure at all. So how many items do I need? Did I need? I needed three of each set. Yeah. So you have like two uh, oh. two pairs of, Come on, of rare items. items here. Well, but wait a minute. So, Mage, do you want one of these items and you give me your staff? Mm, now we're talking. <laughs> so, you oh, can pick no, anything actually, you want. Actually, no. Actually, I need my staff in order to activate my abilities. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. You can only activate your ability with, with some magic weapon. But you, but, make a... but you have the battle wizard. Mm -hmm. Ooh, that's true. That's true. That's true. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so... I'll get the great sword. Mm. Now, Interesting now, great, choice. Great. The great Excellent. sword is pretty good. Have you ever seen a wizard with a great sword? <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard and of the... a battle wizard? <laughs> so, okay. So, Elena, uh, this is what I'm thinking we should do. I should okay. go first so that in case I get something really, really awesome, I could just give it to you. Okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and roll three yellow dice mm -hmm. as I am dying. <laughs> oh. oh my God. I swear to gosh, if I roll doubles on each one, I will quit <laughs> the game. <gasps> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Almost. <laughs> Almost. No. <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. So, I never want to see fire again in my life. By the way, do I get that magic? No. No. Oh. Okay, that's what I thought. Um, ow is how I'm starting my turn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next thing I'm doing, ah, oh, man. Let's do, let's do this one. Let's just use my movement. Or, mm, I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use this okay. one so that I can move. So, that would be one, two. And All so right. an interact action, right? So this, I could activate this right now, or is this a separate action? It's, inter it's an interaction. So you uh, simply yeah, you, you can you, use you the have movement, movement points to interact. Yeah. Oh, if that's yeah, the case, you, then let's use this. But you have no, but the aura. You, you, you I have, have the aura, aura right? So I, I know, but I can do it too. But I need to interact every time in order to transform weapons, right? So I would need to interact two times in a row. Oh no! You interact once, and then you are there. And then you can trade as many items as you want. As you want. Oh, really? Oh, okay. Well, then cool. Yeah. Okay. So let's do that then. Okay. So I drew a poison. So I am trading all this stuff for two blue items. Let's see what I got. I did not get. Wait, did I draw from the right deck? Oh, uh... man. What did I you got? Get? I got okay stuff. Oh, oh okay. I can do healing. It. That might be very important. And the strength potion, yeah. you could toss that over to the barbarian and she might be able to take out all of those skeletons. That is yeah. true. 
Okay, There's so I do have an additional. So I, I you, have three turns. You by took the way. all the weapons and armor and just rang the juice out of them, and that's what <laughs> you found. <laughs> you got their essence. <laughs> I wish I had ranged so that I could take advantage of this. Okay, so I guess I will flip my poison token since I'm not going to be attacking this round to go move back here. Um, then I will use my movement in order to activate a trade. I'm going to give my strength potion over to the barbarian um, and I'm going to use my health potion. Here, drink keep... this. Don't ask questions. No, I'm, yeah. I'm going to... So one... Okay, and I guess I have one more thing that I can do, but I'm not sure. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'm going to move in front of the door. All right. Go. I move right over right over here for my last action. Cool. Okay. Okay. So I guess how many, I... How many health you got back? Five, right? Yeah, but I, I, can, no, I only have a maximum of six. Okay. Oh, question, guys. Um, since we have eliminated most of the people here, should I open this door? Wait, let me see the darkness track. Yeah, should I open this door? If you can deal with whatever is inside it, yes, yeah. yes. I cannot deal with anything. <laughs> <laughs> nah, you're full health. <laughs> so the answer is no. I think they will only okay. attack you in, this, in the next turn if they have ranged. Otherwise, they will uh -huh. have to walk with you. Yep. I don't know. It... I'm feeling frisky. <laughs> yeah. But I will is leave it to, it to you, the party because this is a cooperative game. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll leave to your confidence. What do you think? I mean, you have six health tokens here. I think you're fine. But that, that could be those yeah, famous last words. go for it. it. <laughs> 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 so, Mar I think I heard a yes from Marco. Yeah, you yep, have the yes, yes for me as well. Okay, Elena, yes? Okay, go ahead. Oh god, that let's doesn't see what sound you're gonna very good. Uh, that's such a bad idea. <laughs> 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 Blood okay, Ritual Room, event. Ignore normal spawn for this chamber. Spawn a creature or a oh, horde instead god. on hey. the farthest spawn point. All oh. treasure on this chamber have two additional treasure tokens. There's no treasure in this yes. chamber. But there will be yeah, treasure in the this is... Okay, oh, is... so let me introduce one new thing to you guys. Oh. This is the Roman monsters. Oh, God. Okay, so... <laughs> Roman monsters, they work a little bit different. Let me show them to you. So there are these big guys every... here. <laughs> <laughs> she is she is beautiful and terrifying. Wait, in the yeah. farthest one, right? So she would go here, please. No, no, no in this, in this chamber. chamber, this chamber. In the chamber. I'm sorry. So she's right here. How the how the room monster works? So they do not simply move and attack like the mobs. Okay, we follow a condition here. So she has two conditions. If there is more than one hero in range, she does one thing. There's only one here in range. She does the other thing. Okay, so that's how she works. Oh my God. There, if she can't do any of the things, she activates normally. So then she activates if normally. No, yeah, if there are no heroes in range, she just uh, move twice or move and attack. Yeah. So what you're saying yeah. is we've only faced easy minions so far. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And not just that, she has like uh, her health. Uh, uh, times the number of players, which Holy means Holy cow! Four times four what are you talking about? <laughs> Stop this! Wait, is that her arm? Her arm is huge. <laughs> yeah. Oh <my> God. <laughs> so luckily, I mean, I don't know if that's so lucky, but she ha she has two treasure, but we we found her in the room, so she has two more treasure. Now, does she spawn gonna... here, or it says spawn? In the farthest spawn point. In inside the chamber. The chamber. Oh, yeah. inside the chamber. Gotcha. Do multiple inside chambers chamber. have multiple spots? Multiple. There, or like, for example, this one here, this big one here. Mm. It has like three spawns. That makes sense. Someone help, please. <laughs> oh my god. So one, two, three, four, five. Plus, yeah, and, and she has an automatic hair. Yep. Yeah. Always. 
It's actually it's actually four plus one, right? Oh no no yeah yeah that one counts. Yeah, that no, that, that's what, that's right. Okay, cool. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, change of plans. I think like, <laughs> those skeletons can... won't be able to attack in the next turn, but I have good news. Here? I can move here because I have free <laughs> movement. <laughs> one, one, one cool thing about the Roman monster is that each one of them has like a really specific uh, gameplay. Uh, me not not mechanics, but they play really different depending on their ability. So <gasps> she's really strong when there is only one hero in range. So if you want to play as a team, we can either, I mean, vanish from her from her range, or we need to be more than one in that okay. range. So she can attack both of us or like the three of us, and then so, we diminish the damage. So Alex, I have another question: Is she gonna do a retaliation attack? She does not throw yeah. any black die. Oh, no, she, she, she throws one black die. Yeah. She has the, yeah. the, the defense here. So she definitely, she can do a retaliation damage. So she will do one damage? She will do one damage. Okay. Well, at least it's one damage and not insta-death. So I am very happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> but why, why did you take the damage? Uh, so I did one, two to open the door, and then I ran away oh, behind no, no. the pillar. It's only, it's, it's only if you were in the same zone as her. You're fine. Woo! Okay, so uh, I'm terrified. Jan, why did you open that door? So, <laughs> as a rogue, there's always the potential for gold um, in yeah. every room you open. It's, uh, uh -huh. it, it's basically, it's almost like a little song that we tell each other. It's, it's, it's the way of the rogues. And I was right. There was a lot of gold. However, the problem was that the gold <laughs> was defended by a huge hulking uh, arrow. What do you call this? She, arrow person? She is an undead <laughs> queen, and she is terrifying. Yeah, but she, <laughs> she has so much gold. So I looked at her, and I was like, can I, can I, can I maybe take it? No. I immediately came well, back to my senses and ran away. I like the artwork because her face is all stitched together. Her eyes are completely dead. And then her arm looks like blood has just been collecting in it for a period of time. <laughs> like it's very, it's very gross. <laughs> oh my so, god! If you all just stay here together, uh -huh. you will yeah. probably be safe because Ish. she can't attack you from ranged. You're in the yeah, like, mm. That's right. Yeah, we are all hiding behind the pillar. <laughs> <laughs> what a mess! What if our heroes become? <laughs> and I can go back to plan A and slaughter these guys. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Nice. I like how do it thinks. Might as well do it. So I think, wait, wait, I think I should spend rage instead of moving because then I get to attack three Ooh. times. Oh my mm. god. That's great. Absolutely. So spend nice. one rage to go to reckless and one to activate the Charge. Charge. Oh, and, nice, and if nice. you were worried about not having enough rage for your turn, I have some good news. <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> oh, <laughs> all right. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay, let's let's roll this. Let it burn. Nice. There you go. <laughs> An extra rage, more actions for you. <laughs> so okay, so I attack them with the gray demon sword. These guys go away. I'm in the light. Oh, damn it. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> oh, damn it. You are blessed. Don't forget about... Yeah, don't forget about your strength potion if you want to use it. <gasps> That's right. I should. I should use that. Like, now. Yeah, probably for this first one, right? Yeah. Yeah, like... Then you go can, as like... as hard as you can. Just... Yep. It's actually two dice, Elena. Yeah. So you have a total I mean, of you, three. You guys are too proactive. I'm not moving anything. <laughs> Is that the correct amount of dice? Yeah. TTS, <laughs> TTS for it to be efficient requires teamwork with moving things around. Yep. Yeah, that's true. That's oh, and I'm true. blessed. That's cool. So let's roll all of these. We believe oh, yeah. in you. Yes. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Ooh. What Ooh. happened? Ooh. Yes. Okay, so, think... sorry. Oh, wait, but... Oh. We will spawn a Dude. lot of them. That's all right, because yeah, you're going to wipe through them. 
Yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, it's possible. But yes. you can re-roll, right? I, I think, think I should re-roll re one of the dice. Maybe. Oh no! Oh, 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 yeah. oh, I'm not <laughs> doing that again. Oh, wait, wait. You stay right here. Remember to click here. outside. Just I did. Click outside. <laughs> That's fine. It happens. Yeah. So this wait, one. I think probably. I should. Re yes, this one. Ah no! You just. It works for me. Bar. Okay. Why doesn't it? Uh, yeah. There you oh, go. Nice. nice. Yes. Nice. Good, good, good. And uh, so... Elena, yeah, you just took out three skeletons in a single... No, 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 no. Well, you took out four <laughs> skeletons in a she single also, attack. She can also take a wound to yes. deal two wounds, oh. and she can take another wound to deal another wound. Oh, my and God. She gets, and she gets the bonus from Vigor. That's great. Holy I have seen ow. this movie before. <laughs> 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 so I think Greta has just discovered a whirlwind, uh, a whirlwind attack, because no, that. Actually, I don't, yeah. don't I take out four of them like automatically? Because that's seven plus one from the bless, so eight. Each of them has two health. Yep, but you still have f uh, four more health that you need to deal. Because you summoned an additional skeleton. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So I can take one more damage and. To do one more? No, but that's not that's not good. Well, you can take one damage in order to take an entire other person out because yeah. of your uh, demon sword. <gasps> that's right. Okay, so we're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> we are uh, definitely doing that. Elena, you just gained uh, five HP, a, a five XP in a single go. Wow. I think. Oh yay! So now wow. I'm now at thirteen. Wow, that's insane! That's crazy. That's awesome. Okay, well now, done. She does. She does spawn some though, doesn't she? No, she already killed it. <laughs> she yeah, wiped out all the ones she even and spawned. Died. Yes, <laughs> that's <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> Holy cow! All right, all right. I know I just asked you this, but I've I've got to hear it one more time. <laughs> what the heck just happened? How did you do this? Apparently, I like gulped the entire strength potion and <laughs> you, drank, you drank a little bit too much strength exactly you went over over the <laughs> and like charged at these guys with like blood in my eyes and ready to kill as many as i could you, you know what also what i imagine jesse remember when i said whirlwind you know when you sure. put things through the shredder in your uh the the food processor <laughs> Yeah. That is, just, she just went in there just spitting like the, the potion well, got her like, excited. <laughs> I like the idea <laughs> that, I like the idea that from the bones of, of four that had broken apart, one more formed and in the process of reforming was just shattered again. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's no way to stop the world when once it's starts. Beautiful. Maybe. And so, you know what? I still have so, two attacks. Yeah, I was going to say, okay. what else would you like to do? Destroy the I final think... guy, the leader one, right? My god, yeah, I think crazy. the skeleton will run away. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy that you didn't even need shadow it doesn't, for this. My god. It doesn't have time to run away. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's still spinning. <laughs> it's still spinning. It's still spinning. Oh, <laughs> I'm not dead. But, oh, but, I but can't roll, right? you could take you could take one damage and wipe it out, or oh, just reroll for true. free, or reroll for free. Yeah, go I ahead and try a reroll. Re for free first. No, wait. What did I do? Okay. Oh! oh. Wait. Actually, okay. technically, you should have rerolled from that face. <laughs> okay. So let's try it again. Hey! Yay! Very Dude. nice. That is horrific. <laughs> So Helena has fifteen <laughs> already. <laughs> oh, we get two, right? Yes, yep. I yeah, am at like... eleven right now. I'm at so 14. close. Oh my wow. god! Wow, I'm at and... ten. So <laughs> I love, I love how I, I do nothing and I just level up. That's amazing. <laughs> Teamwork, baby. And I still have one more action. Yeah, what? Okay, wow. go, go, go. Oh, wait, face did the you get your stuff? You haven't even gotten your oh, stuff yeah. yet. Oh, I have stuff. Oh, first, first you get the treasure, right? Oh, that's right. Wait. So... You get one green. Ooh. What's that? Is that that's... a helmet? Oh, very it's nice. Oh, my God. Oh, nice. That is amazing for you. Yeah, because I have no other use for mana. Yeah, sure, but you also yeah. have another free reroll from now on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
no real use for the crossbow, though. Should I come back and stay with you guys for the party with the queen? <laughs> <laughs> I will do that. I'm coming back. Hello. Wow. So we're just all like just trying to, what, what do you call it? Um, Jesse, when you surprise someone, we're trying to ambush. We're trying to ambush <laughs> the queen. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's exactly what we're trying to do. Oh my God. Yeah, she's she's going to move here and we're going to ambush her. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> right. So basically, so... the queen saw me and she's basically just walking slowly towards us while we're just planning away behind this column. <laughs> oh, she yeah. has no reason to rush. <laughs> <laughs> all right so i guess everyone played right everyone's turn is gone so whoever can get to level three oh no wait first she moved forward one two so just to recap she uh -huh. doesn't have anyone in range which are both of the of, of her conditions so she just take a normal turn she moves one she tries to attack she can't she moves then she moves again and here she are. Okay. Here she is. Okay. I am definitely uh, use, uh, leveling up. Yeah, me too. Okay. <laughs> we can <laughs> add one for me. Actually, I think three okay. people are leveling up. So I'm just going to go ahead and whoop. Yeah. yeah. You can go ahead. Uh, three epic tokens. So one, one important thing is that if you get a skill with the same name, but one level higher, for example, like if you get the, uh, you have the, this one, if you get the mm -hmm. Deadly Mixture 2, that goes uh, uh, on top of this on one. Top. It's just like, mm -hmm. it's, it's straight a better version of this ability here, but you do get more tokens when you do oh, that. Oh, I do. Okay? Ooh. Yeah. Okay, so I upgraded the, the Vigor skill here. So now... Oh, nice. Can we roll twice, and if it blessed, it adds two extra hits. I think we can take this person out. Honestly, now that we're all level threes, I feel I feel we can do this. <laughs> yep. Okay, so I will advance the darkness track by one. Elena, did you and... were you able to choose an upgrade? Okay, yes, yes, I got reckless, like the same ability, but level two. So now charging does not require an action, which means in a perfect turn I can attack four times. Awesome. Yep. What what about you, Wizard? What did you get? I didn't get anything because I didn't level up yet. Because oh. I'm a little <laughs> bit behind you guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I forgot. But, but thanks for asking. <laughs> what about thanks you, Paladin? <laughs> so I got Viger uh, number two. Oh my gosh. Uh, upgrades the attack. Yeah, Ooh. now uh, Geta will be able to roll two times. And if it's blessed, she gets two <gasps> automatic hits. Yeah. Okay, oh that's ridiculous. Um, so <laughs> I, I, I think I also got a pretty ridiculous thing. It, it doesn't look that great until I'll explain the thing I did. Um, so I got another Dark Swiftness, which gives me another token for free, and it now gives me access to orange dice. However, my Ooh. bag was depleted to a single token, so I am 100% going to draw those two Ooh. things. Ooh. That's nice. great. Nice, so, nice, nice. so I am guaranteed four turns, four actions this turn. With one Great. orange die. That's mm -hmm. really cool. So Undead Queen is going to be totally dead very soon. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what I'm drawing. Oh, look at that. Wow, so lucky. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so one thing you can already do is to just place this back in the bag because you for sure are gonna draw mm -hmm. and I remember to show for the bag oh yes i swear to gosh if i get the other um green one i am going to be so happy <laughs> <laughs> so guys who is going to start our next round that i have a feeling is going to be very successful <laughs> So um, the Undead Queen is like, we are very par powerful, but so is she. She has 12 health. 16. So we yeah. 16, 16 health. To... I think right, I guys. should just, just jump in and try to take her out first. We have yeah. no mobs. 
and her so her special ability won't activate. Mm, okay. Yeah, yeah, great. And she's pretty weak in melee. Yeah, head to head, she's not too bad. And yeah. um, uh, our paladin is also able to bless you even outside of his turn. Oh yes, yeah. so I can I can bless you before you you attack. Oh my okay. gosh. Okay, so I will charge. Go hug her to death. I will charge. <laughs> so I spend one rage. Whirlwind! So Whirlwind! Come I'm here on that queen. Da -da -da. Hello there. <laughs> Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so she's only going to retaliate with a single. Oh, I'm sorry, with blue and black. Blue, black, and eh, blue and black. Yeah, that's it. Nice. Okay. Oh, that's good. Woo! Well, actually. Eh. Okay, it's. it's uh, the, the, no <laughs> defense. She's not spawning anything. Yeah, so this is fine. You can re-roll that orange one twice if you want. Yes. That's right. That's right. I can, and I can do mm -hmm. that again, like in the next attack, right? Yep. It's once per and, attack, yep. and you can take wounds yeah. to do three damage, no matter what. Okay, so let's do that. Oh no. my gosh. Okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Whoa! Bad. Yeah, that's what. <laughs> And then if you took two wounds, you would end up doing six damage right now. Mm -hmm. Is it worth it, to, though? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know. You have a few more attacks. Yeah, I think I should maybe... I don't know. Maybe I should get that for the last one? I I think you should just go all in because our mage can heal you afterwards. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's okay. true. I'll just take... Two damage, and so it's five damage to her, right? Mm -hmm. I think it's six, oh, six total. Six damage six, total. Six total. Oh. And we rolled these wow. again. Wow, and you still have two more turns. And by the way, I think we all forgot about this, but your gloves give you another reroll. Holy oh, cow. Yeah. <laughs> so you've, as long as you've, <laughs> you've successfully wrapped your arms around her, and you're just, you're holding, you're, you're holding onto your other wrist, and you're starting to squeeze. I just think she's spinning. I want to imagine that she's spinning as much as possible. I like the world. <laughs> wait, wait. Oh, what happened? Wait, I, I think we counted wrong. Like I have three swords on that die. I took two wounds, so there's oh. three more from my character, and so there's two more two from the Oh, you God. have eight. Yeah. Oh, oh so eight total. Eight. <laughs> Holy cow! <laughs> That's you can a see lower. the. You can see the veins start to bulge in her forehead. <laughs> the veins that are she's dead. Okay, let's wow, go. Wow, that's crazy. Mm. Oh okay, my God. you get three Re chances. No, no. Re First, okay. second. Oh, All right. come on! Oh. Nah. That yeah. one didn't count. That one didn't count. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, nah, at least that's... you get your mana back, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so I do one damage to her. That's underwhelming, but I guess. Now, Two, right? It, Two, it'd, be three, ah, it'd be three, three damage right now. Yeah, that's right. And you could take two more damage if you wanted to do an additional three. So that would be another seven. Five. It would be five total. Are you guys ca counting the shield? Yeah, the shield The shield is taking out one. So oh, it's sorry. Two, so it's five total. <laughs> okay. So five are gone, right? Yeah. Well, Atlanta, do you want to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah if you want to take the damage. Taking the damage. So and you all still you have, have to do. One more thing. What? Yeah. You still have one more action. Yes. <laughs> no, I still have two more because the charge is not an action anymore. I upgraded my ability. Oh my god! Are you joking? <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. So I can probably take yeah. her. Out and maybe he Oh, myself. there it is. <laughs> so you wrap your arms That's around, enough. you begin squeezing, and just slowly you see all the blood that was congealed in her arm swell up into her <laughs> head, and then it just pops. <laughs> so, uh, Elena, you just got all that. 
<laughs> yeah. Hey, Congratulations. Bro, you're watching that? <laughs> oh, I am very jealous. For my I'm, last right, action. So, Elena, I told you from the very beginning you were my hero. It just took you a while to get there. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm watching behind the call and I'm just like kicking rocks, like just all mad and pouted. Like, oh, why did she get all the gold? It's not fair. I've been doing more work than her. Just mumbling to myself. How do I get these off my hand? Go away. So one thing is that everyone gets four XP when you queue a Roman monster. Woo -wee! Awesome. So we got more XP. Now I can finally level up. Hey, Lena gets five, right? I get five. <laughs> <laughs> My objective to get in this game is to reach your experience, guys. <laughs> wow, so there's a lot of cool stuff here. A longbow, a fire staff, a silver ring, a rusty sword, and a wooden shield. Mm -hmm. I like wow. the fire staff. Yeah, that's yeah. definitely going to you. Ooh, yeah. Wait, first of all, I'll spend two rage to change my stance and heal two. <laughs> because that I'm makes sense. Okay. <laughs> And the oh yeah, they go right back here. Well, you can actually yeah. even wear that ring that you just got for the rest of the game. Uh -huh. yeah, and for as an action, cool. you can heal. But that's that's it's pretty cool. Of the, gloves. The, the gloves. Oh, she right? loses the gloves. Ah, yeah. still pretty good. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do and do this for this person. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Super dead. We're still in the middle of this Super game, dead. Jan. Let's not I'm... let's not start flicking things yet. <laughs> I'm just excited. That was a really incredible turn. So I guess for my last yeah. action, I'll just move back to allow you guys to trade with me at the start of the next turn. Oh, are you nice. equipping anything, Elena? Are you are oh. you just giving all of that away? I, I don't think there's anything that good for me, actually. You can keep another, another oh, yeah. weapon, it's, right? It's can, a one this one is one handed sword. Yeah. Well, actually, you can equip. Oh no, that's a two-handed. Sorry. Hmm. I might actually take that bow, if if no one if if no one minds. No, not at all. I think you all should take this stuff. Like, I'll move back and. At the beginning of the next turn, someone trades, and we all can like have the great market fair. Good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so who's next? All right, and, uh, and just time to go. go open that portal. Oh, oh then me then. I have a suggestion. I think uh, the mage should go there because this gives five XP, right? Oh, mm. right. That's true. Yeah, I agree with there that. Is, there is one thing that everyone forgot. I'm still on fire, so I can't <laughs> die this time. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. Oh my okay, god! No, god. no, no! I, I just cannot get the two swords. That's it. I just there's only one face that I cannot get. Don't okay? say that out loud. That's that's like summoning. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait! wait. Okay. Can you use your potion before you roll that. I don't think so. That's like the, oh. be the beginning of my turn, the first thing. So, let's go. Oh my god! Oh, okay. oh, yeah. <laughs> Damn, okay. Yeah, that, that that's why we get for healing, healing people. Oh my god. Ah, oh, darn it. Right. Well, okay. good news is that you now have all your health back. Yep. Do you lose yeah, but your we turn? Have one less token. And also, do you, you lose your turn, Alex? Yeah, I do lose my turn. So, oh my wow. God. so can can no one else die now? Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> change of plans. <laughs> <laughs> okay. um, Who wants to go I'm, there? I'm, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So I'm flipping this token okay. so that I can draw another one. Oh, oops. So I can draw another one. Let's see what I drew. Oh, my God. I actually did the thing I thought I was going to do. <laughs> That's good. <Right. laughs> um, I'm going to initiate a trade action, guys. So let's go ahead and all trade. Um, I want I want the thing. I want this bow. Okay. I'll, I'll just 
take the fire staff, okay? I don't think sure. anyone wants it. Oh, then I can get your your great sword, right? Yeah, you can. Mm -hmm. I will take that. Who wants the ring? Probably our mage. Um, yeah. I can have the ring since I'm doing the healing part. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah, go ahead. I think that's fair. Um, we also have a wooden shield and a crossbow yeah. there. So who who is going to to go to the forge after I, that? I can do that again if you guys want. I, I just thought you know I could do that if you want. So I could grab all uh, of this. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm, sure. Okay, and boom. Anything else that we're missing on trading? I think that's it, right? That's I it. think that's it. Okay, Wait. so Anyone, now, yeah. now that I'm full, that I'm fully healed, someone wants the potion. I I do, actually. You do. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you can take it. I I gave you that because I think you could take advantage of it. Okay. Just just in case you want to keep it on the side. Okay, so this here. Okay, so now I'm gonna activate my other thing again. After resolving okay. this action, so I don't necessarily know what I'm going to get. I'm going to assume I'm going to get a lot of movement. So I'm going to go ahead and do one, two, and then three to cash all of these in. Okay. And let's go ahead and get a another blue. Mm. And boop. Sling. Oh. Okay. Oh. Interesting ability. Huh, that's that's fascinating. Okay, I think I could actually take advantage of that really well. Maybe. Hmm. Okay, so now I draw another one. Hopefully it's a plus two movement. Ah, pl well, plus one movement. Not, plus not one. too bad. That's okay, bad. so I'll go ahead and you do always... that. Mm -hmm. Okay, you always have like plus one movement from the from the aura. So I have four movement total. So you have yeah. four. One, two, three, four. So I'm right there. I'll use my other one, unfortunately, to... Is this an interact action? Like, uh, is yeah, it with it movement? Yeah, it is an interact action. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to draw a treasure first. One. Okay. You draw two, and then you choose one to keep. Oh, that's That's right. what the chest is. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, oh, well, not yeah. much of an option here. So back into the bag, and then shuffle. Yep. Then I will do two, three, and then four for that little treasure there. So I go mm -hmm. ahead and do this again. So as you're reaching for the for the treasure, you stumble into the room, rearrange some gems in the perfect pattern. You hear a rumbling and <laughs> shattering crater throughout the, uh, the crypt of hell that you're crawling through. You're not quite sure what happened. But it's probably not good, Jan. <laughs> All I know is that I needed more loot. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got right. throwing so, axes. So what happens now is that we got the two objective tokens. So they leave the board and we summon the Incubus. And since we are now level three, we get the next level of cards, which is the Incubus level three and four. So do you want to flip it? Oh, God. <laughs> Nice. So the door opens, the portal oh is gone, so no more darkness track for us, and the Incubus appears. So Incubus has okay. 10 life per player, which means 40 life. Holy <laughs> cow. <laughs> Great. Excellent. <laughs> so we really need you, Geta, this time to give that <laughs> big hug you, you, you gave on the Undead Queen. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, so I've heard that in it. If, and it has it has two abilities. So Leiden the Incubus Lord. If Leiden is on a shadow zone, move Leiden to the zone of the hero with the most health and attack that hero twice. What? If Leiden is not on a shadow zone, <laughs> Leiden takes five wounds and moves to the nearest shadow zone. So skirting them to the light is kind of helpful. And then defense with a claw yeah. icon. If a hero is on the same zone as Leiden, all shields count as damage instead. <laughs> Attacking Ooh, melee, shit. rolling two black die and two orange die. Good luck. 
<laughs> so this guy He's teleports everywhere. We can do that. So he teleports everywhere? Yeah, he teleports. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's awesome and terrifying at the same time. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Um, right. Is this all the Thank treasure you, that he's getting? Yeah. Why is he getting so much? Oh, no. These were mine. I'm sorry. These are mine. Oh, yeah. It's I already two, grabbed two, them. Two, two treasure, two random treasure, and one epic for sure. Uh, yeah. And this door is technically still closed, right? No, no. The doors open when we, we oh, trigger the, yeah. the, the juke. Uh oh. So that means we're summoning two no, mobs? As a, special rule, as a special rule for this scenario, that we do not do the spawn on the Incubus room. <gasps> okay. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I believe 40, 40 health and like a lot of damage is <laughs> enough. Woo, okay. Woo. Okay, um guys, what do we do? <laughs> so, uh, I, I think so, the, the person with the most health should stay in the light zone, right? Yeah. Probably. So we get like okay. he he's going to attack anyway, but then we get an ad advantage of one turn for the next turn. Um I can be sacrificed, I guess, because we are currently <laughs> high. No, wait, Who has <laughs> both the rogue and the berserker have already played, so it's up to the paladin and the mage, right? Oh, God damn. Yeah. Um, Which one of you has the best defense? Well, the no, mage, think... the mage lost his turn. Oh, that's right. So paladin, sorry. Dude. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I think rogue is too. I do. I can move right? for sure. I can move three. Sp oh, thank God! I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, Which... <laughs> sorry guys, I tried my very best. I didn't make it. One, two, and three. That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, like... Okay. <laughs> yeah. So the question now becomes... Oh. Hmm. Ah, oh, you don't have any ranged. We could have we could have given you range and you could have been shooting at it from afar. But if the oh, paladin wants to... If the paladin wants to hang out in a light zone, it would at least attract him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Oh, the the only thing the paladin needs to do okay. is to attract him and survive. Mm-hmm. And then well, I think, you're I, I think I think Sadly, I'm trade the second part of that is a little bit harder. Yeah, you should probably get this health potion, I believe. Did somebody can, already like, give yeah. me XP? Oh. There's anything you can do to Increase your defense or something? No, you uh, have tranquility with it, which is healing. Yeah, no, but I, I think I'm, I'm fine. I can get a, one attack. Okay. So I, I think I should trade with you guys, right? First, mm -hmm. the That's first right. action. I'm, I'm happy to give you my longbow if you want it. Just so oh, yeah, then you can attack. attack. Turn. Okay. Okay. So if I if I were you, I'll get the helmet as well. The helmet True. because then you can try to reroll your defense. Like I mean, everything you can to survive the incubus attack because he will be attacking you twice <laughs> if or is dead. So, it's like everyone's so. everyone's taking the <laughs> gear off and just putting it on the paladin and going, "You got this, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> you can do I'm, that. You can do that." Yeah. Yeah. Some health, <laughs> like the, the little kid with his dad's baseball cap on, just falling over his <laughs> eyes a little bit. <laughs> okay, uh, that was my first action. Now I'm going to move to the light zone, right? Mm. Woof, woof. And attack from there. I think that's it. Don't don't you rather attack from the shadow zone before moving? Oh, that's oh. right. You can. That that's way better. You're right. <laughs> you got the range. <laughs> That's what, what I was going to do. Yeah. I, I'm not used to use, using both. That's why I <laughs> about it. I'm still learning. I'm still learning. <laughs> yeah. I'm still learning. So, two so he defense, has two blue two and black, two black. Two, two, one blue here. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Ah, good luck, Paladin. <laughs> we believe let's in you, Paladin. We believe in you. Uh -oh. Alright! Oh, you healed okay. everyone. I healed everyone, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, everyone... We're oh, already cool. healed. Everyone, that's everyone with an aura. 
Oh, no, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. That's bad because that means that it's Yeah. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. That changes yeah, I have a, two rerolls. <laughs> I have two rerolls. Okay. <laughs> Let re let's reroll this. Okay. Uh, I might reroll that. A well, actually, mm, you do the want problem. magic. Yeah. I don't know. Well, the 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 monster icons, the the claws, they don't do anything, nope, so they're yeah. safe. Fine. I think, uh, I think we will the, roll the this. Is, I'll, you I'll can reroll it. You can reroll it, and then you, if you get your shadow face, then our plan is gone. <laughs> <laughs> but one but in six. you do have a chance of dealing a lot of damage. Yeah. What did you say? It's one, one in six. six. Yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, okay, I'll go the safe safe way. I'll just reroll the defense. Oh, nice! Okay. Oh, that's fine. Okay, yeah. okay. That's so good. I got two mana, that's good. Mm -hmm. And three damage. And three damage. 37 to go. <laughs> Who, who's counting? Why are you counting? <laughs> okay. okay. What are numbers? Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Could you not have so... attached the aura to yourself? Oh, no, it's only after, right? It's before attacks. Mm hmm. Oh. Uh. Okay. I think I'm done. That's that. No, you need to turn. move to the light. You got to get, yeah. Don't forget about that light. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go, I know. Go, make yourself, <laughs> go make yourself bait, buddy. <laughs> go, go Paladin. Go to the spotlight where he can see you. <laughs> Back and then like a little slight voice. I'm nervous. Oh, gosh. Another mob is going to spawn after this, too. Oh, no, no, no. no. The, the, the portal cancels it. Oh. Forever? Yeah. Forever. Oh, interesting. Yeah, now we're just now you're just oh, facing down with the big bad, Jan. Yeah. Well, that's too bad. The big bad isn't enough for me. I need more, baby. Yeah, no, I'm kidding. Jan, <laughs> do you remember do you remember how many people have died to single <laughs> mobs? <laughs> one one person died just wait, from wait. being on fire. <laughs> yeah. And it wasn't it wasn't even an inferno. It was just an ankle fire. <laughs> and I am empirically I am the fire mage and I died by fire. So <laughs> clearly I don't know what I'm doing. You know what they say play with fire, get yourself burned. Yeah. So crashing down in front of your 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 shaking paladin there is Leiden, the Incubus Lord. Oh my god, he's gonna attack okay. twice, guys. We might lose. Rips like holes through the ceilings and the doorways <laughs> as he as he powers his way through. Wings stretch out as if it's just open space, but it's really rock crumbling beside him. Oh gosh. I, I'm starting to think that we should have probably healed everyone. <laughs> I'm so excited for this, can you tell? Oh my god. Oh, no, no, Marco, you have seven life, right? We have seven, you have seven yeah, life, right? But but I think I should heal after the first attack, right? Uh, you should probably heal after the first attack, yes. <laughs> Unless I get killed in one. <laughs> We're fine, guys. I, I have a reroll, and all, I have a blue die. And all of you are just back watching what's happening from behind a pillar. <laughs> I can't walk, actually. I'm just going to cover uh, my uh, eyes, man. After we push, one thing the that I can do around. is moving the, the blue aura to me myself and and using the heal too is tranquility so i get to seven i think it's 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 good right yeah, yeah i would do anything that can get you up <laughs> okay so <laughs> i'll get you your help let's, let's do it no right. my movement <sighs> okay, let me know oh, when you're going to do it. Sir Ronan. Okay. Sir Ronan. Sir Ronan. I'm, I'm you view you yourself with this blue glow. You all are <laughs> peering behind the pillar. You watch this beast approach your uh, your one lonely paladin. 
and let's see what happens. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I can't watch! Oh dear god. Oh dear god. Oh, no! no! Uh -oh. Oh, wait, wait, you have uh, a, I have you have a Oh my god, no. No! <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh, does it do anything? So I, uh, I should reroll a, a, a orange, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Yeah. You could get the three and lose immediately. Okay. Oh! <laughs> oh, oh, it's fine, it's fine. <laughs> oh, no. That's it. Oh. We lose. Okay, six. No, it's seven. No, it's fine. No, no, no it's just six. Uh, the, the, the claw is... The claw is also a damage. No, no. Oh, shield oh, the claw is as a damage. Shield counts as a damage. It's but only it, for defense. Got it. Okay, so I, at one life, I can use my potion to get... Oh, you can use your potion out of turn? Four. Oh, okay. So you have a total. Yes. So you should have a total of three left. Four, four. Oh, how much was the potion? Three, right? Four. Three health. Oh, okay. Four three, left. Three. All right. Oh my god! No! Oh Don't god. do it! I can't you see, oh, you see one one <laughs> giant wing strikes down, crushing the pallet <laughs> against the side wall. There's an imprint of his figure, uh, and uh, and he goes in for a second hit. I can't watch. I can't do it. <laughs> What, what happened? Did we did it? No, we lost. Reroll. No. Wait, wait, wait. just reroll no. that one. You, you have another reroll. Oh, free reroll. Yes, yes. Please, wait, God, wait, please. wait. Okay, okay you can do this. You can do this, please. Free roll. Go, 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 go. Yes! yes! That's what you needed, right? That'll do it, right? Yes. 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 That's yes. enough. That's enough. <laughs> so oh, you see, have one. Wow. He like I go to one life. <laughs> He slams against the wall, crumples down. The paladin's now resting, his back pressed up against it, blood dripping from his nose, but he's still breathing slightly. You all better do something. He, I swear he's just to God. extending his arm like, tap me out, tap me out. I swear to God, Jan, and we're in hell and there's no gods in this place. <laughs> okay, so now we just have to kill this guy in one turn. Oh, yes. That was I can, so close. I can help a bit. I can help a bit. This oh, dude's so. so powerful. Holy cow. We do not have to kill it in one turn. <laughs> if, uh, if we leave, oh, that's true. if we deal now damage we to him, and to him. Leave, it will take five damage in, in yeah, the beginning. Yeah. And, not do it, and he will not do anything in your turn. Yeah, I, I am being overdramatic for the sake of being overdramatic, but it would be <laughs> great if we did actually bring him down like considerably. Yeah. Yeah, but there's well, there's one I think you're thing. gonna need to. Every time we attack him now, if he gets the 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 defense ability, every shield count as a wound instead. If you so are we the still same might zone, be taking a ton of damage. <laughs> we better not be in the same zone as him. Good thing I have ranged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> I'm not worried about me. Oh my god, where where are my glasses? I took off my glasses because I was too nervous. Okay, where <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys um so uh mage can you heal our poor paladin um i can heal him a bit <laughs> yes like <laughs> sure i'll think about it <laughs> uh okay can i go first so maybe i can attack him a bit and i'll get some mana to oh actually actually i level up i can level up oh, wait a minute oh yeah, yeah. I can Finally get to level three, which means I get one mana back. Because we just we just hit the top of the round, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. So I'll get I'll just give him more fire tokens. I already added the uh, super super awesome treasure into the bag. Cool. And what'd you select? So fire I'm course two. Fire course Attack two. plus two. Fire plus two. Oh awesome. my god! Yep. Woo! Let's let's put this incubus on fire. <laughs> so, as my first action, I need to move, but I can attack him, attack him twice, and I can maybe I can still heal you. So maybe <laughs> strong maybe. maybe. <laughs> <laughs> so I have one yellow, one orange. 
I have the Shadow Die, which is Cure. I and that's it. And he has two blue and two black. And those black could potentially turn those blue into damage. No, 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 no. It's yep. only in the same space. It's only the same space. Oh, so, so very fine. good point. So he could okay, retaliate. So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, he can retaliate. Oh, okay, man, come on. See? Alex, Alex. Oh, yes. Yay. That's not bad. <laughs> yeah, that's Woo! good. That's actually very good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend one mana to rotate the wheel. Okay, I'm going to spend two more mana to rotate it once again, which means I get two fire tokens on him and Woo! plus two swords. And mm -hmm. I'll rotate it once again to add plus one sword. And I get one mana back. Oh my god. So that's really good. And I have dealt him one, two, five, six, seven, eight damage minus one, seven. Woo! Seven total damage. Oh, Beautiful. Really? What a turn. Yeah. And two oh, fire that, tokens. That, that's still one action, Jesse. So yep. he and he like woke up a... from being burned and his staff is just now an inferno. <laughs> <laughs> like the so wizard now... coming back, except now he's on fire. I, I just imagine him going like, you shall burn. <laughs> oh, there's one more thing that I can do. I, now that I have the fire staff, I can spend one mana to add another fire token. So that's Ooh. three fire tokens on him. Okay. Yeah. Well, you will burn. You will burn. I like the. Uh, I like where this is going. You shall burn. <laughs> you okay. shall burn. So, so now I can give another. Healing. Yeah. Now I'm healing. I'm spending two mana to heal you because okay. I'm really cool. See how, <laughs> how cool I am. <laughs> All right. So you heal by three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attack again as my last action. Please oh, be wow. awesome. All yes. Right. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that, that is cool as well. Okay, so I do not get any money back. However, my special ability says that <laughs> I can rotate my wheel <laughs> anywhere and I can do it for free. <laughs> oh my God. You can activate so, your combo again, 100%. Yeah, boom, 100%. Boom, so, boom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my last mana to add plus one sword. Oh my lord. So that is four damage. Yep. Four, five, six, seven. Ooh, minus minus one. one. Six Ooh. more damage. Six. Guys, oh, it might okay, happen. <laughs> I did my part. And, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. I did not everything have I could. Thing more I think from we you. can do it. And I'm out of mana again. So that was my last, my last action. Oh, dude. <laughs> Is now everything or so not? The fire, the fire bakes and, and cracks <laughs> and splits through the uh, the inferno there, but the paladin feels the warmth actually imbues him with a little bit more life. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, so uh, who wants to follow up that amazing well, turn? Yeah, this is going well. <laughs> who wants to go next? Yeah. Please, uh, please don't die. <laughs> 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 Whoever goes next, please don't die. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I should go next. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll I say the the rogue maybe. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah. I'll, I'll because I have range. So let's do me first. Yeah. Um, I will go ahead and activate this first. I have two free rerolls. I have one orange die only, and then I have all this. But, oh, and and a a uh, purple. However, Shadow. the cool thing about my sling is that at the end of this, I will be rolling two uh, t uh, two yellow dice in addition to this. Uh, because you're sword. doing three total attacks, so you buff mm -hmm. every yeah. strike you do. I like that. That's cool. That's cool. Too bad that you can't is... hit anything. I don't know. I have magic. <laughs> so I'm going to use this magic so I can re-roll this. There you go. Okay. Um, what else? Oh, no, I should have probably rerolled this one so that I could get another to pro probably get another token. Oh, the good man. thing about this is that you have long, you, now you have mana to reroll the other attack that will be stronger. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so okay, so I do one <laughs> I do one damage. 
Woo! You get two mana back, actually. You have plus one. He has a maximum of three, three though. Oh, oh. no, because four, of because one. you're level three. I awesome. forgot about that. Okay, so, so you... I was just warming up, guys. I'm, mm, I'm, okay. I'm, I'm just getting. I'm just, you know, uh, stretching <laughs> out my arms. It's been a while since I use a slingshot. It, it takes a little bit. Now that I'm more comfortable, now I'm gonna do some chaos. Oh, I love oops. that the rogue is using a slingshot as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh lord. Okay. Oh. So get rid of that. Get rid of that shield. Yep. So flip. No, why am I? There we go. Uh, oh. Okay, so uh, that is three damage. <laughs> but three you, damage. You also you also take three damage, right? One one damage because of the retaliation. Yeah, he's not in the same in the same zone. Oh, not in the same zone. Okay, okay. And now for the turn that we've all been waiting for, I will now be rolling three uh, yellow dice. Oh wow. Yep, so uh, I better Actually, do a main. Oh, yeah. Actually, two, right? Plus uh, plus this. Oh, right. Okay. 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 Uh, there is a lot of dice there. Yes, there is. Wish me luck, everybody. Yeah. All the luck, Jan. Go, go. Oh, what my God. Hell? Wow. Come okay. on. You I have a roll, use... right? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um. Should I reroll? I'm gonna reroll this one. I guess. My God. Oh wait. No. You know what? I'm gonna reroll this. Why am I doing that? Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. That is okay. one additional action. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> yes. And there's the other die. I get to do wow. all this plus four now. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. So I do. <laughs> this one damage. Is funny. Good. Good. Good, good. What damage? Um, <laughs> did we think I, okay, so one damage, and I get another. Uh, another wow! Roll. I swear to gosh, if I don't do like at least five, I'm gonna be <laughs> so mad. Oh wow! Look at this, guys. I have to do, clone a yellow dice. You have to clone two. Oh, you have oh. to do two more of them. No, actually, no, actually, no, no. there's there's the amount of dice that come in. Oh no, box, no! And that's the, the 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 biggest amount of die you can roll, like three no. of each. Really? Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. <laughs> it's okay. Okay, so let's do this. I thought it was just TTS. I was like, Jan gets to roll 78. Right. Beautiful yeah. roll. Wow. Now you can reroll the, 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 the purple one, I guess. You purple think so? Or the shield. Or the shield, yeah. Mm, it's your call, guys. What do you think? I'll leave it up to the table to decide. I mm. think you should reroll the purple because yeah. you can get another token. Oh, that's true. Like, if you get your. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Not bad, okay. Not bad. That's fine. Yeah, not bad. Four, four damage. <laughs> <laughs> no. No, five. five. Why? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, you're right. Four. I'm uh -huh. wrong. No, four. no, no. Six, seven. But, oh, yeah, she blocked three. That's right. Sorry. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay, so in total, I did uh, 10 damage, right? Sort of? Maybe? <laughs> you you yeah, did so. okay. Oh man, I'm so sad that I couldn't roll like crazy good. I needed, I need more mitigation on mine, but my strategy worked out. No, it was great. Yeah, that was awesome. Ah, uh, yeah. I just, I rolled more. You got awesome. your mana back. Great. Guys, we're so close. We're so close. Okay. I think we can do this, Greta. Yeah. Oh, it was very close. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> First, heal Elena, movie. I want you to save. I want you to. I want you to end this and save the day so badly. You see, <laughs> I'd love to do that, but I will attack in the same zone, uh, so it will deal a, an insane amount of damage to me. Oh, yeah, you're, you're you're low on health. Shoot. I think I'll start my turn. Can you heal yourself? Yeah, I think I'll spend. You can heal yourself. Oh, that's true. Yeah. This. To heal two, so like this one goes here. Yeah. And one more. Where is it? Mm. Oh, it's going to be taking five damage at the start of its turn because the light burns it. Wait, That's I think not... I think we should uh. also do a trade action, and you should take the longbow and the and the ringlet. Oh no, I'm sorry, oh, just the longbow. Oh. oh. Yeah, if she just did a little bit of damage, because remember, it is on fire and it's taking five damage yeah. from being in the light. I mean, she can attack. She can attack first, and then maybe she get lucky and doesn't take any damage. And like she's so strong on 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 melee. 
Yeah. Well, oh, because she can use... No, 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 no. It's the same. Except if we want to use the deal two Just wound. Oh. Because yeah. the longbow here... Look Please. at the longbow. But the, no. long, but the longbow is with me, and I'm not in your oh, space. Oh, right. Oh, Ooh. God. I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She could take your slingshot, Jan. She could, but she won't be able to use it as effectively as... Well, okay, well, that's not... That's not right. That's not accurate because I didn't use it effectively either. <laughs> there is there is one good thing. There is one good thing as well. Lidan is on a light zone right now, so when he activates, he'll take the fire damage plus the light damage. Mm -hmm. He oh, takes five right. points. Oh yeah. Yeah. So yeah, he's on fire. Like Elena, if you just do a little bit of damage, there's a chance he burns to death. That's that's right. Oh wait, wait. Okay. Uh. Uh, yeah, so a throw, nah, I don't know if it's worth it. The throwing axe will give you a plus, a yellow, an additional yellow dice. Um, but you would have to do a trade action. I'm not sure if that's worth it. Like, it's probably better if you just reckless jump yeah, in there. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Yeah, then because that's what we're doing. <laughs> yeah, she can, she can charge. <laughs> so spend one rage to move the stance and one extra rage to, oh, Yes, that's right. To charge. Oh my god. Save your paladin friend. Oh gosh. Maybe die in the process. <laughs> you have you'll be fine. You have like three rerolls, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll you be fine. fine. Yeah, but, but it's she's not blessed though. Oh, she's oh. not. Oh, okay. yeah. But she has the rerolls. Okay. Yeah, the, the the paladin went <laughs> run out of mana. Just oh, like the right. wizard, so <laughs> it's up to you guys. Ah, uh, yellow die. Here it is. Mm -hmm. It's not a shadow zone, so that's what I get, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Great. <laughs> oh. It's fine. Ah! Hmm. So that's two damage your way. Wait, I can reroll something, right? This one two, is probably two, the best one for now. Yes. And then I probably this. So yeah. there's no, no, I, I always do that. Why doesn't it work? R, R. Oh, that's right, I'm pressing F. Pressing F. Hey, nice. No. Oh, that's right. And this one goes like this. Oh, oh come on. At, at least it didn't So You have another roll, I think. Uh, Over here. Oh, oh yeah, right. you can spend mana. I can spend, I have no use for mana, so yep. Go here. And, and you're getting back mana anyway. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yes. Slightly better. That's good. That's good. Yeah, and you get back your mana. And you haven't even started your turn yet. Okay, so remember that you also can take wounds to do three. So you could do right now five damage. True. So I, I don't think I should do that now because I still have three uh, turns to take damage. Sure, sure. No, so I dealt two damage right now. Did someone update that already? Nope, not yet. Okay. Yes. Oh, oh my god, I can't believe that we might actually kill this guy in a single <laughs> round. <laughs> I think it's possible. Oh, well, it was all based off of the fact that the paladin lured him uh, and survived. Why does this yeah. keep, keep happening? Well, at least he's not defended. And you still have the three rerolls. Yeah. Yeah. You should probably, I, I don't know, I just get rid of this one maybe, or just go with everything and just hit him. Uh, with yeah, a lot of I think. I th yeah, I would just keep it. It's just one, one damage, right? Yeah. I think it's fine. Yeah, I one. think you can do that. I can. So I'll just roll this one again. Oh, no! come on! Okay. You can roll one again. But, yeah, you still have one reroll. Okay. okay. A little bit better. Slightly better. Um, and I can reroll now. Yellow if you were again. able to get rid of this, you could take the damage instead of being hit with it, and you could do two. Oh, that's right. That yeah, yeah. No, mm. that's, that's fine. That's right. You have to send the mana, right? So three yep. more. These guys right here. Ten so that's health. Two damage. Okay. And he's taking and he's taking five at the top of his turn, not counting the fire. You might be able right. to finish him off even before he starts burning to death. <laughs> no, I don't think I can, but I think it, it will die in the start of its turn. I think I'm, you're gonna. I think, I think you're gonna finish. Damage, but so, I can. 
So Can what I can... imagine you're doing is you just rushed what in happened? and you've grabbed him by like the scruff of the neck. So the wings are flapping, trying to pull away from you and you're holding him up into the light. Yes. Oh, that As was the three damage you're doing. Got it. Yes, I was trying to remove them all at once and failing miserably. <laughs> <laughs> but you still have two more attacks, right? Yes. Wow, that's two great. Attacks. Wow, okay. Uh, yep. Okay. There you go. Okay. <laughs> two rolls on it. Okay, I'll re-roll the, the orange one. It's amazing how it never falls on the... Yeah! yeah. Yes! Nice. And... Okay, let's see. This one. Oh, ah. all shields Ooh. count as attacks. Ah. So this counts as an attack right oh. now. Yeah. As a wound. And I'll so spend my two... other mana to re-roll that one again. This one. Nice. Yeah. Okay, it's perfect. So you're looking at one damage coming to you. You're doing mm -hmm. five back. Yes. Is this the time to use the thing? I think next time. I think yeah. next time. Because she has one more attack and she can oh, guarantee goes. three. So all she needs to do is do two damage and then guarantee three. And survive. <laughs> so again, <laughs> you're just holding on to him up, like, up into the beams of light that are streaming through, not letting him go. I have one option, though. I can just run away, I guess. No, you it can kill him. Die. Yeah, but it you will can... die at the beginning of its turn, right? Yeah, you're strike right. Him, strike him again and finish him off. Yeah, <laughs> finish him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, there'll, be much more epic. Epic. there'll be okay. much more epic. Yeah. Okay. You survived. You survived. Re -rolls. Yeah. I will re-roll this one. Mm. Oh, so I have, a, I have a shield. Question. If you re-roll the shield, then he's not doing any damage to you. Yes. Alex. Oh, that's no. right. Or he's doing. Yes. yes. And that's it. <laughs> oh, I get mana back, so I can spend it and get another re-roll. Yep. Do it. Okay. Yep. Okay. So. There you go. Okay. Well, that's okay. Better. Yeah, you did it. I think you. I so think let's you can let's see you here. Let's let's double check it. We've got hey. four here, one damage. Or so four is going into him. Wait, Jesse, Jesse. Before you do that, I have a question. Um, so what? Marco, Marco, and Alex. It says here that for every claw that you draw, the defense counts as an attack. So if she drew two claws, that would mean that she gets two hits. Is that right? No. So what happens here is that this is ability. This ability has been triggered. And uh, it, it only takes one clock, so this sentence can come true. Okay. There is no things on, it's lead on all shields companies. Okay. Got it. Go, okay. okay, go ahead, Jesse. So let's so let's go ahead and resolve this. You have four cool. swords, meaning you're doing four damage into him. This shield is an attack, so you're going to get one damage, and then you can use the power of your great sword, which is the great demon sword, which feels appropriate at yeah, this point. Yeah, very appropriate. Uh, you're taking you're taking one additional wound, oh, and you're wow. doing two more damage. That is going to be enough. So here's so here's what happened. You rushed forward after your teammates, after the paladin was struck against the wall, your teammates had expended all of their energy to do everything they could. You rush forward and you grab Lydon, the Incubus Lord, around the base of his neck. You hold him up into the light and you just begin screaming at each other. His wings furl out, slashing and breaking walls down, and you just refuse to let him go. He's slashing against you. You reach behind you, grab out your greatsword, stab it through his chest, and this fiery explosion sort of sort of rains down in ash above everyone, the entire party. And that is gonna be a victory. While the rogue hides behind the column. <laughs> While the rogue hides behind the column, appropriately. Hey, yeah, rogue. What other... <laughs> I'm like, I'm keeping my hand like this. Hey, rogue, you can come out now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, and, and Epic Great. Loot at the end of the game was oh, a yes. knight's shield Heavy Mittens, and the Forge Gate spell. Nice. Nice. Cool. Wow, well, that was uh, good, that good. was Massive Darkness, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that was Massive Darkness. Massive Darkness 2. <laughs> massive Darkness number 2. That was fun. And I didn't even get to play. Yeah, that was epic. <laughs> My God. So, 
<laughs> I won't hold on to you too long because anyone that's watched this point, they're already massive fans and they're excited. I mean, at this point, the, whoever is still watching is getting a copy as far as I'm concerned. Uh, so talk to me. Talk to me just a little bit, very briefly, about the development phase. What are some of the other things that are coming to Massive Darkness? What can people be, if if they just saw this gameplay and they want to go over and check out everything else on the campaign page, what stuff should they go pay attention to? Marco, do you want to go or shall I go? I think you, you, you could, could go. Okay, so uh, a few things that you, you guys haven't seen here is that we have two other classes that are completely asymmetric as well. So we have the Shaman and we have the Archer. We do have a new type of enemy, which is the boss. The boss is an enemy that once you enter the boss room, everything fades away, everything's gone, and you have the boss and the boss tile, and it's a an unique epic battle. So some scenarios include the boss. So you have the Reaper and you have Michael. And not just that, we do have a campaign mode that will yes. come. You're speaking my words. Yeah, <laughs> I, I know you're going to, I know you asked for that. So <laughs> I'm just going ahead and say, it. <laughs> uh, oh, one, one cool thing to say, I believe I've said that before. I'm not sure, but the core box comes with another 10 scenarios, mm -hmm. uh, completely different, different objectives. They all have like a different feeling. Uh, they all have like minor changes on the gameplay, so you can always have like a different experience when you're playing. This was just like an introductory, simple scenario, just like to introduce. He says, the... he says, simple scenario, sir. Don't take this away from us. Don't take what <laughs> we've just done away from us. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, what, what I'm trying to say is that this scenario does not include any like unique, different rules. Just like sure, it's, it is cool. You need to kill like a Roman monster, a strong one. But it's just like this is an introductory scenario, not a simple introductory scenario is, is the best way to say that. I hear what you're saying. Now, back <laughs> to that campaign, back to yeah. that campaign. One thing people should look, pay attention to when they swing over to the Kickstarter page to dig in. It is actually not in this core box. You're doing two separate boxes specifically so you could focus on character development in the campaign versus character development in these one shots. One thing that Massive Darkness, the original, was was so good at was it was that one single experience. It's accessible, it's easy to get to the table, and you you feel like you're leveling up throughout the course of one game session. But for mm -hmm. those of for those people like me that want a little bit of love and affection and attention paid to something that tells a story, though that's actually going to allow us to go through an entire entire 10 levels instead of five, correct? Correct. So what what we did on Mass Darkness 1, it was to we want to create wanted to create like a campaign mode, which we call the story mode, with the components we had. Okay. And for Massive Darkness 2, we, we look at it and we said there's so much potential for a, for a really cool campaign game here. Sure. So let's do this and let's do this big. So we decided to to make it another box. So people that really want one shot experience only, they have access to the core box and that's it. So they can get another box uh, and get the Heaven Fall campaign, which will bring like new components that will allow players to reach higher levels and really feel the experience of a campaign. So first, and the, the big thing that me and Marco will like a lot is story. So there will be a story, there will be like a, a storybook that will guide players through the campaign. And mm -hmm. then they, they really go into the massive darkness and understand the, the, the plot and what is happening behind this whole new massive darkness that take, uh, took place, this, this universe. And not just that, they will be able to reach level 10 which one of the things that in story mode is that even being like 10 scenarios, they could only reach level five. Okay. Sure. So now they will have like 14 scenarios, but they will only play eight. So depending on their decisions and stuff, they will go through different scenarios. Yeah. And they will be able to reach level 10, which is unique to the campaign mode. So with the level 10, uh, there are like new skills. They can follow, like for example, two two talent trees. Just like I follow the fire uh, tree, I can follow the fire and the frost, and then I get uh, on level seven a hybrid hybrid skill. 
So you have hybrid skills on, on, on the campaign. You have ultimates that you get on level 10. that are really, really strong skills. Uh, not just that, you get a new whole deck of treasures. So you get mm. access to the legendary treasures. You also get the intermission. So between uh, scenarios, players can go to the town and actually prepare themselves for the next battle, the next scenario. So in town, they can go to the tavern, get job cards, which are minor bonus that if they achieve on the next scenario, they get it. And they can go to the blacksmith. They can buy blueprints to, to, to buy items that they are looking for. They can even like gamble it. on the town. So that's cool. And of course, awesome. you know, to, to balance it better, uh, we are adding two new set of dice, which which are the, the okay. red die and the green dice, and which are green. better attack dice, dice and better green dice. So just to help scale that level exactly, as you're as you're exactly. exactly. Well, man, I want I want to thank all of you for uh, for taking the time to make this happen. I know this is quite the quite the evening, especially on TTS, because TTS is not always the most accessible platform. Um, mm -hmm. But it really has, it's made, it's made it possible for us to hang out and play a game and got, you get to experience this together. Yes. Um, so thank you so much, uh, Marco, Alex, and Elena for, uh, for hanging out with us. I'm super excited to edit this. There's no doubt your campaign's going to go insane. You already know that. I don't need yeah, to tell you that. So. We've had, <laughs> as, as, someone that, as someone that owns, literally I have it sitting next to me, before Quackalope was a thing, owned the core box uh you know original massive darkness i'm i'm oh. really excited to see this real re-implementation i think you've outdone the original easily so okay thanks very excited <laughs> it's good to hear. Yeah. yeah this is fun jan and i are gonna fight over who gets uh who gets to, to there's have no fighting there. i'm i'm just going to get it there's no fighting <laughs> we'll talk about it off camera jan. we'll decided. discuss it we'll discuss it later <laughs> And mm -hmm. I think at this point, I'm going to cut to myself saying good night, and, uh, and I'm going to go ahead and tell you all good night as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank it was great. <laughs> yeah. It was really fun. <laughs> I'm, glad. I'm glad it was fun. That's, that's always the end goal. So that, I believe, I, I mean, that was, a, that was a gameplay, right? I mean, the ending with the throat and the hand and the neck and, oh, I loved it. I just, I just, we've, we've had a chance to play this a few times, learning the game first and then sitting down and doing the full recording. And, and every time I've had an absolute pleasure uh, experiencing and diving into this new world that's being created. And I'm excited that the minis in here are going to be transferable. I'll be able to utilize and take advantage of the core box that I still have, even though Massive Darkness 2 will probably be one that hits the table a lot more often than this one. If you're watched to this point in the video, make sure you subscribe and then do one more thing for me. Leave a comment down below. First off, include at the very end of your comment a quack so that I know you made it here. Uh, and let me know your thoughts. What are you excited for? If you have any questions, I am sure both me and the designers will be down in the comment section uh, doing everything we can to answer and address. Uh, and if you do swing over to the Kickstarter page, leave a quack in the comments there as well. Let them know that you appreciated and enjoyed the content that we're producing. And whatever the case, whatever you do, remember to do the important thing. Get out and play some games, and I'll see you next time. Thank you so much.